Hey welcome friends this is Unic Fan Fiction 2 meters today we are gonna see what if Naruto was got life as a teacher in high school DXD and protect his students movie. The sun, the largest star in the sky, which ushered in the morning to all who saw it rise in the east, for many though, it was a rude awakening from the lull of sleep and a very comfy bed. One such example is the blonde male with spiky locks that seem unnatural, a somewhat dark tan skin tone and bizarre whisker marks on his face. As the sunlight gleamed into his room his eyes fluttered exposing his sapphire blue eyes to the world before shutting them in an attempt to deny the reality of daylight. Oh damn it, it's already Monday, I hate Mondays, the blonde said as he rubbed his closed eye with his arms before swinging his legs out so they landed on the cold wood floor, may as well get it over with, it's just another day, standing up the blonde made his way to the bathroom and turned on the shower after disrobing himself of his nightwear, the hot water cascaded down his body while he lathered and washed his hair and his body. I'll have to go to that signing this week, I think more girls are appearing now that I have the alternate series though, who knew an actual werewolf story with well developed and realistic girls would survive in this market, then again how many of those books are Yuri now that I think about it, still whatever helps give them power and confidence, the young monk's ramblings went unheard by others, as there was no one else in his house, despite it being a house made for a family. He got started by putting on his black pants, white shirt, with orange tie along with burnt red jacket over his shoulders, after that he made his way downstairs and got started on breakfast making some onigiri, potato salad and taiko sausages as well as tamagoyaki for his bento too, he ate his soup and fish in peace giving thanks before and after eating. Washing his plates he picked up his briefcase, I am heading out he said to himself locking his door behind him and out his front garden, proceeding to make his way to school. X Break X, Kuo Academy, it was his workplace for the past year or two, it was a now co-ed academy for many young students, he taught a number of interesting students in his class, English was fun to teach, especially after learning most languages in the world anyway, it was rather cute seeing some struggle and having him come over to help them, not that the girls in his class went too crazy and fangirl over him. That had been a problem a few years ago, not as much now that he changed his appearance with a thick pair of glasses that hid his deep blue eyes, although with most of the guys giving him glares he took pleasure messing with them out of class or turning their attempted pranks back on them be it a spitball reflected back into a boy's mouth or placing a tack on his chair with a comfy pillow. His colleagues thankfully were all okay with his natural blonde hair, he used his old excuse of having had American parents, there had been a few schools that couldn't seem to get past it, one was Karakura or more every thug in the school thought he dyed his hair so didn't go back for a second interview, Kuo though was a lot better designed, taking inspiration from to European designs as opposed to usual Japanese school designs. Moving past the front gates he waved to a few of his students and members of the gardening club he visited now and again, often giving them some of his blends he kept in stock. X break X the lunchtime bell ringed and Naruto let out a small sigh of relief, teaching young girls who made an effort to flutter their eyelashes at him along with teenage boys acting on their hormones by glaring at him or doing the former became exhausting, he enjoyed his work but some days the behaviors of certain classes was worse. Still now that he had time to himself he headed for his tree, he had picked it out in the first week of his job, and it had many branches and a perfect view of the school to eat his lunch on, the other staff often asked why he didn't eat with them and he always replied, you're welcome to join me in the trees, sadly none took the offer. Opening his bento he leaned back against the trunk slowly bring the rice to his lips, cooking was a great joy to him since given enough time you begin to want to create any and all delicious dishes, had debated on whether he could become a chef but decided against it for a few reasons, the first being giving away some of his recipes, most notably his ramen recipes. The moment he raised his next bite he felt a tug on his leg, looking to his left he saw the only person who did actually join him in the trees, one Kaneko Tuju, a first year student who had white hair and yellow eyes, and one powerful appetite. Hello again Kaneko san are you alright today? Naruto asked the girl who did randomly join him one day but he believed it was because she smelled his daifuku that day, she was someone with a strong sweet tooth, which he spoiled from then on, when he did teach her in a class she was very attentive and a good study. I am well, what did you bring today? She asked a firm almost blank tone, her face reflecting the look on her face, although the amount of time had spent eating lunch with her meant Naruto had noted the subtle emotions of the girl. Taiyaki, enjoy Kaneko san. Naruto said pulling out the bag of the fish shaped treats from seemingly nowhere, the girl grabbed the bag with speed and pulled out the sweet and sunk her teeth into it, are your studies going well Kaneko san, no problems with my homework? It is fine, my friends don't mind the work you give them either, it was no surprise that Kaneko had friends. Less surprising was that being the unofficial school mascot was friends with some of the most popular girls in Kuo Academy. Good to hear, I'd hate to be putting too much work on my students, at least those that don't deserve extra, such like Issei-san. Naruto shook his head as he ate his chicken, 
one of his other students who Naruto had been tutoring on occasion after his parents requested, this a result of one report card for the boy. Sadly, Issei was possibly one of the most perverted teenage boy had ever seen. And there had been a lot of those, ah the pervert, one of the three, yes, it was well known that Issei was part of a trio of boys who always got into trouble for perverted acts, which usually Naruto himself ended up spoiling for them by either reporting them to the girls they were peeping on or taking things into his own hands, Issei still flinched whenever he saw a leak. It was another reason why he was a favorite in the school with all the girls around, as long as they never discovered his books or rather that he wrote the Yuri he would not need a stick to fend them off. Naruto continued eating his lunch with Kaneko with both simply enjoying the blow of the wind, carrying the occasional leaf, which only served to enhance the peacefulness of the moment. When he finished though they remained in the tree, Naruto moved his hand to Kaneko's head and patted her head, which was something of a habit he developed since once asked to feel his hair, in return he did the same but it seemed to relax Kaneko. Afterwards she asked him to pet her head, to which he saw no harm in it, as it was something one might do to a pet, plus people knew better than to accuse him of being a lolicon. Suffice to say Kaneko always leaned into his touch when atop her head, no more or no less, had often feel as though his fingers rubbed against something that should NT be there on Kaneko's head but pushed it from his mind, they stayed like that until the bell rang at which time both jumped from the branch to the ground with but a small thud of feet meeting earth. Nodding to each other they headed to their classes, Naruto had Issei's class now. Good afternoon class, he greeted with his usual bright smile that had a couple girls blushing. Good afternoon Naruto sensei, they returned with enthusiasm, well most of them at least. Okay class, please turn your book to page 91, Himejima-san could you please read the passage out in English for us, everyone else please note down her words in English as Himejima-san translates for us, will that be alright Himejima-san? He asked one of the school's two great ladies. Akeno Himejima was a young girl roughly 16 to 17 her hair was black and had striking purple eyes, her hair is was tied in a long ponytail reaching all the way down to her legs with two ahoge sticking out from the top and sloping backwards, with an orange ribbon keeping it in place, she was a very elegant girl by descriptions although many boys fixated on the girl's large bust, which dwarfed many of the girls in school. Of course Naruto sensei, Naruto sat back in his chair while Akeno read from of the books of his course, which was from the British author Agatha Christie, it was one of her crime novels with the Belgian detective, he enjoyed exposing his students to different stories as opposed to the usual Shakespeare, Akeno was one of his best students and never inquired any help with her work. The third year's class went very quickly and eventually he had moved on to his second year students and has them do the same with their assigned book, he had a few other students take over reading until he noticed one was struggling, as usual, Kyoto san you did do the reading before class, didn't you? Naruto asked the spiky haired brunette who was looking very sheepish. Ah well sensei you see my friends called me last night, they said they had something amazing to show me and trust me the Onaruto cut him off by raising his hand. See me after class Hyodo san we don't need to hear more about your hobbies, Naruto said as he gestured the next student to follow, class continued until it was time to finish and everyone left except Issei who was gestured to come to the front of the class, you know you can't slip in your studies Issei, this is the fifth time this month you haven't studied when you know it's important. I know Naruto sensei but I can't help it, they called to me I needed to see them, the steam coming out of his nose and the red cheeks only made him picture a white haired man with the same expression. Sigh. I want a report for the book you were supposed to read Issei, I want it by Monday and also, Naruto reached into his bag and pulled out a copy of Icha, Icha, students your age aren't allowed to read this ever in class, I am going to confiscate this until I see that report, if I don't this is being burned, a bluff but a good one as Issei rushed out the room in a second, he could hear the cries of panic, ha ha ha, that student of mine. X break X by Naruto sensei, see you tomorrow, some of Naruto final class said as they left the room. Funnily enough he was teaching the first year students with Kaneko in it, he did have her read short passages but her blank tone made sure it was a quick reading all the same, waving them off he was surprised to see Kaneko staying behind. Something wrong Kaneko-san, since class had ended, Naruto had no problem referring to his students by their first names. No, Naruto raised his eyebrow at her statement as if she wanted to say more. You can ask me anything Kaneko-san, Naruto said as she looked up and directly at his eyes. Your eyes, what color are they? Ah his eyes, well he had never shown them in school for obvious reasons and he honestly enjoyed how different they made him look, the dorkish look with his glasses and whisker marks some might say made him appear like a middle aged man who missed shaving parts of his face. Blue, but I suppose I could show them you if you'd like, Kaneko nodded as he reached for his glasses taking them off and folding them into his pocket and revealing his ocean blue into her topaz yellow. Bright, she commented as she studied his face, thank you Kaneko san just don't tell anyone I'd hate for you to get mobbed as you were the only one to know the color of my eyes, see you tomorrow, 
slipping the glasses back on he left patting her head for good measure and making his way out and off home. After a moment though, Akano and the other member of the two great ladies soon joined Kaneko, the red-haired beauty that was Rias Gremory, known for equally large bust to Akino's, but more for her blood-red hair that reached down her back with a small ahoge sticking out the top of it, so did you confirm anything Kaneko-chan? Akano asked the young girl who shook her head. No, he is human, but different, Kaneko said before looking at the desk and finding another bag of taiyaki left for her by Naruto it seemed, he's a good human. Era, era nice to see you making such a nice friend Kaneko-chan, a shame though Bucha, you were sure he was partly a devil of something similar, Akano said to Rias who let out a small breath. I know Akano, it can't be helped I can't offer anything if he is normal and human, otherwise it's unfair, I suppose well just have to wait for a good opportunity to strike us so we can add peerage members, Rias said as the floor below them lit up in a strange seal before all three disappeared. Little did they know that a change would come very soon. X break X so, Naruto looked over as he marked Issei's work during lunchtime in his office, Kaneko joining him since he had brought her some dango today, Issei managed to get asked out on a date, well I suppose some people get lucky after all. Dumb luck, Kaneko said as she ate an entire stick of dango, what do you think about it though? Kaneko knew well enough despite the hard time he gave Issei he was someone he looked out for, even if that meant a beating at the hands of the kendo club, they never saw the wire trap coming. Like any teacher that knows their student I hope it goes well, but the logical part of me says I should keep an eye on him. I'd rather not see him get his heart broken so early in his dating life, he is sweet, but prone to his dark perverted side far, far too often, Naruto said marking Issei's work with a solid C+, head be handing him his book back, at the end of the week. Still the rumors of the pretty girl while a bit harsh did set of Naruto's alarms of danger, he knew some girls might find Issei charming but he knew none would give him a chance so far in this school and the girl Yuma was apparently a recent transfer, it seemed like a suspicious turn of events that was no way a coincidence. Guess he'll be doing some snooping tonight, where did I put that cloak? Naruto wondered to himself as he waited for the day to end so he could rush home and pick up his old cloak. From there he observed the date Issei had with this Yuma girl, it seemed rather nice really as Issei despite his reputations was acting like a boy on his first date and no doubt trying to do the right thing by her, he even bought her a simple gift as a memorial for their date. Eventually though the pair walked into the park by a fountain and Naruto hidden in the shadows listened in, today was really nice Issei-kun, but can you do one thing for me? What is it Yuma-chan? He asked his eyes sparkling with excitement of what she might ask him. Would you please die for me? Naruto's eyes went wide as he sped forward in an instant and grabbed Issei by the shoulder pulling him to the side before the girl could pierce him with a strange energy spear, who the heck are you? That doesn't matter, you tried to kill him, I had hoped you asking him out was genuine, but it seems you did as I sadly expected, Naruto said shaking his hooded head turning to the shell shocked Issei, run home Issei run home and forget about this. Wah but what is going on here? Why did Yuma-chan try to kill me? Issei's teenage mind couldn't comprehend what was happening in front of his eyes, it didn't help that Yuma's clothes exploded off her body exposing her bare flesh to boy men, quickly though leather looking straps wrapped around under her breasts and lower regions while also gaining shoulder guards and a pair of large black wings, not to mention her physical features seemed to age a little as she held her energy spear threateningly. Just go Issei! Naruto shouted and the boy scampered to his feet and made a mad dash for the trees while he himself turned toward Yuma. Why is a fallen angel targeting an innocent human? I'd rather ask how you know what I am, not that it matters, my name is Rainer, and may it be a blessing that you die to me. Rainer charged forward hoping to end this in one move but she was surprised when the figure's arms glowed and was covered in a strange gold and blue gauntlet, which grabbed hold of her spear. Sorry, I am not one to die easily, especially when I still have papers to mark, the light of the spear showed Rainer who she was facing. You, the teacher? She jumped back with a flap of her wings, but you're human is that a sacred gear? She said shocked while gesturing to the gauntlet. Irrelevant, you still haven't told me why you attacked Issei, Naruto said pulling back the hood and removing his glasses and putting them inside his pocket, his blue eyes glared down at Rainer nearly flinched at his cold stare. And I won't bother as there is no point, once you are dead, hell be next, Rainer said as she prepared to attack again but a loud scream was heard and Naruto turned his head and ignoring Rainer rushed to the origin and found Issei being impaled on a larger spear of energy than what Rainer had. There we go, glad I decided to tag along, the other fallen angel said with short brown hair and young face. Loki, what are you doing here? Rainer said flying over the top of the trees, the fallen angel who bore the name of the Norse god stood in front of them with his short brown hair and single pair of black wings like Rainer. Well I was bored watching so decided to help you out, don't worry though he suffered a lot, the man named Loki said before he felt a large pressure press down on his shoulders. You killed my student, 
Now you just pissed off the wrong man scum, Naruto said his body shaking as he lifted his hand and snapped his fingers, in an instant a ripple in the air appeared and a sword handle appeared which Naruto tugged on revealing a large broadsword, the fire, he called out to which blue flames engulfed him. What the, you said this teacher was human Rainier, Loki said panicked trying to take flight, but found Naruto before him in that split second just as the blade severed his wings. I was human scum, I have been maintaining that identity for many years, but seeing as how an innocent has been killed over nothing, I have to take things into my own hands, hope you don't have regrets. Naruto lifted the blade and decapitated the fallen angel in one swing. The body turning into particles of light once the head hit the floor. What are you? Rainier asked shaking with fear. Naruto looked at his with eyes that bore through her soul, worse than anything she had been forced to bear before. Leave, you don't have eyes like his, you didn't want to kill him afterwards, despite your claims, leave now and you keep your wings fallen angel. Rainier not being an idiot decided to fly away from whatever monster the teacher was. Releasing the blade that dispersed into golden dust Naruto kneeled down to Issei who was choking on blood as he struggled to stay conscious, I am sorry Issei, it seems as though heaven and hell have come to close to us both, far closer than I should have kept it for you. Naruto sensei, Issei seemed to mutter seeing the blue eyes of his teacher just before they began to close. Issei, Naruto whispered his name before laying him against a tree trunk. He proceeded to cry out in anger at the rapid turn of events and death of his student, once more I see eyes that call out my name before death, I wish to leave that behind. As Naruto collapsed against the tree opposite he noticed something appear from Issei's pocket, is that? From the paper a large seal appeared on the floor and a figure appeared from it Rias Grammary in all her glory only with a pair of dark bat-like wings behind her. Sigh, I wish I didn't have to come to this, but I suppose I can bring him back, she sad focusing on Issei, placing a pawn chess piece on his chest, but quickly found she needed all eight of her pawns, within a second Issei's chest started to rise and descend with the intake of breath after healing at an inhuman rate, he must have a powerful gear to cost all eight. Maybe, Rias eyes widened as she turned to the second person there. Naruto sensei, what are you doing here? Rias asked the man who had watched her resurrect Issei, she wondered how quickly she could subdue and erase his memories. Trying to protect my student, failing, and then killing the fallen angel scum who killed Issei, Naruto said clenching his hand before taking a deep breath and let out a long breath, his anger fading now since Issei was now alive. You killed a fallen angel, are you a devil as well Naruto sensei? Rias asked questioning how someone slipped through their senses so well, even Kaneko had claimed him to be human. No I am no devil trust me on that, he scowled for a moment before turning to Rias, when you take him home go to the large one opposite his, he'll be waiting to explain everything, Naruto said as he disappeared while his body turned to golden dust. What was that? Rias asked aloud to herself trying to make sense, one thing was for sure she was calling everyone if she was going to talk with the mysterious teacher. X break X I never imagined Naruto sensei would live in such a large manner, I expected him in something a little more modest, Kiba the blonde prince of Kuo said next to Rias, Akano and Kaneko as they walked through the gates of Naruto's large home that looked like a traditional Japanese home, Rias knocked on the door and in a moment Naruto appeared in a shirt and slacks, his glasses were also absent. Hum, your peerage, makes sense, come in and take a seat you'll be here a while, Naruto said gesturing them all to follow despite the term he used for them setting them on alarm he took a seat at a large table where each sat around Rias. I guess ill start of saying I am not angel, devil, yukai or anything you think I am, in fact one of likely very few who still exist, Naruto said as he pulled out a book and pushed it toward Rias as she read the title. Kampioni, a Kampioni. Rias shouted shocked as she got to her feet staring at her teacher who calmly took a sip of his tea while pushing a plate of cookies toward them, to which Kaneko snagged three, you're a godslayer? Yes. Possibly the last one though these days, Naruto said resting his chin on his hand, to Kaneko it was odd seeing him not so full of life in his mannerisms and actions. But how could you hide yourself so well, Akampioni is one, if not the most powerful of humans in the world, we never felt anything from you, Rias said while Kiba looked in minor confusion. Excuse me Naruto sensei, when Bucha calls you a godslayer does she mean, Kiba wasn't sure how to ask the obvious question. In simple terms, a campione is someone who is called in when there are heretic gods. Legends that have gone out of control and generally wreck chaos, however there haven't been any in quite some time, and as to why you could never sense me, I restricted, if not completely blocked my powers for the last century, my body doesn't age but it didn't matter I lived a life I could enjoy, Naruto explained quickly as he saw no point going into a full explanation, let alone considering telling them how he became a god slayer. Then why reveal yourself tonight, was Issei Kun's death that tragic? Akano questioned while tasting the tea herself. I've been away from war and battle for a reason, 
the last time I drew my sword I witnessed something horrible. I lost many friends, despite what I do Issei is a friend, an odd but honest friend who I enjoyed tutoring in my time off, to see him killed by someone he thought liked him sickened me, I hate people being used, I've known about this peerage system from whispers from time to time, you and the other devils in Kuo are fine to me, Naruto said stirring his tea ignoring the heat on his finger. You seem eager to share all this information, why? Rias questioned since him basically outing himself so blatantly went against the concept of remaining hidden, it made no sense for Naruto to call her to reveal himself so suddenly, especially considering the rumors of a Akampioni's strength. Simple, now that I've released my locks on my power all factions know Akampioni still exists and while they know very well not to do anything, it'll be expected to interfere with any serious battle from now on, after all Akampioni stands above humanity, Naruto snorted remembering the stupid ideas when it came to his kind. So you wish to ally yourself with devils? Naruto shrugged at her question, I have to inform my brother, he is one of the four satans. Am I to presume that Lucifer no longer is a ruler? Naruto asked while under the table his fist clenched. No, all four of the old satans have been replaced in the civil war, but will you be willing to meet my Onisama at some point Naruto sensei? Rias asked while Naruto got to his feet and went to a dresser and pulled out a necklace with a spiral-like design on the sapphire jewel. Here, it's my seal as a campione. Take it to him as proof, he'll meet with your brother and see how far devils have improved since we last met, Naruto moved to head to his stairs, there are spare beds to use if you so wish, he'll be up in the morning for normal school days I expect the same of the rest of you, good night. Naruto ascended his stairs leaving the others to themselves, Bucha, are you going to involve your brother and the other satans in this? Akano asked a little relaxed now that Naruto had left them room, his presence made her body tingle, not to mention his eyes as well. Rhea stared at the sapphire jewel in her hand, yes, like it or not this represents something very big, he'll contact him soon but I think it's best we try and get to know Naruto sensei better, I don't think he's had good dealings with devils in the past, Rhea said before looking up at her peerage, but we will change that and having someone like him as an ally will be a great boon, even if he seems strained from watching Issei kun die. Hell be fine, he's stronger than we believed, Kaneko said as she finished the last cookie and headed up the stairs. Shed have her familiar bring her a spare uniform for the morning. Indeed he is, let's hope we can be a true friend so that his strength is never directed at us, Rias said as she and Kiba went to find a room of their own to sleep in, they had been offered after all. In his room Naruto sat staring out the window before opening his beside draw and pulling out an album, I hope I can trust them a little, this will be a big change for both of us, yet this could end up a good thing, I might be able to see your daughter sometime soon Ibo, I just wish you were still here. Naruto looked at a page where he and a red-haired man smiled, while a blonde-haired woman with fox ears smiled in between them. X break X H M H M. Hum Naruto mumbled a tune in his mouth as they made breakfast for his guests, now a little more calmed down he felt a bit better than he did last night, memories of old times hung in his mind last night and they were never present to relive. Era, you cook Naruto sensei, I thought Kaneko chan was telling a lie, Akano said in her clean uniform. I've lived on my own for some time. Cooking became a pleasant hobby, I make various dishes from all over the world after visiting them along my life, Naruto placed the pancakes on the table with blueberries, syrup, chocolate chips and strawberries, help yourself Akano-san. Taking her seat Akano added some blueberries to her breakfast, mmmnnn, Kaneko should have shared some of her treats, I would have liked to have tried this earlier, Akano smiled to herself. I doubt shed share, I get the feeling she likes my cooking too much, Naruto said preparing his bento and some dorayaki with anko filling. I am happy to share a few of my recipes if you are interested, Naruto offered not seeing the girl's grin grow. It wasn't long before the rest of his guests appeared all following the scent of food on the table, Kaneko piled her plate and tucked in while Naruto placed his glasses back on, he needed them for securing his safety from fangirls. Why do you hide those eyes Naruto sensei? Rias asked while nibbling on her current pancake, I mean we already know what they look like now why did you put those back on? Fangirls. Experience showed me that too many people seeing my eyes combined with my facial features leads to mobs of girls chasing me for much longer than should be possible, it's so much worse at events for my books, Naruto shakes his head while taking a quick cup of coffee. Books. What books do you write Naruto sensei? Kiba asked curious over what book their surprising teacher might write. Figure that out on your own, I spilled enough secrets for one day, finish your food and leave the plates by the sink, I need to head out to school, see you there. Naruto picked up his bag and moved to the door, the house will lock after you leave so don't worry about that. Hmm, maybe I should try his method and wear some thick glasses? Kiba muttered to himself since he likely had the same problem as Naruto did, or in this case would. Most girls already know what you look like though, plus I doubt you could properly pull off the look Kiba-kun, 
Akano said smiling as the blonde grimaced at the harsh reality, maybe he writes erotic novels. Akano wondered aloud not knowing she was utterly correct. It hardly seems like something had right, with the amount of traps he's left for the perverts in the school, he probably won't even stop trapping Isei-kun when necessary. Rias finished he breakfast and did as told along with the others, I think well let Isei-kun have one more day of normality before we tell him. Want Naruto-sensei tell him? Kiba asked a simple and obvious question. No, at least I hope not, perhaps I should have asked him to hold off telling him, think you could catch up to him Kiba-kun? The blonde nodded and rushed out the door to catch his fellow blonde. X break X I wasn't going to, or even planning on telling him you know, even if he has been asking around about that female fallen angel, Naruto said eating his lunch while Rias and the others joined him, most likely he wasn't going to eat alone with Kaneko anymore, at least he only treated her. Considering your care for him, I had to ask Naruto sensei, on that subject though, you know how I am the club leader of the occult research club. Naruto nodded while the others ate their own lunch. I do. I heard you claimed the old school building some time ago as well. Naruto had wandered close to the building once to see how it looked, but that wasn't important right now. Indeed, but being who we are, it's difficult to get a teacher to sponsor us like other clubs. I remember that you never sponsored a club, did you, Naruto sensei? Naruto did not sponsor any club as most wanted him just as eye candy, or didn't interest him. The gardening club had intrigued him for a bit, but it might cause questions if extinct plants started to grow all of a sudden. I take it you would like me to sponsor you club so any questions that might be asked can be given to me to be dealt with, since I am capable of lying easier. Rias nodded this time but her eyes focused on his bento box, you can buy your own Rias San. You can just call me Rias, if you'd like Naruto sensei, I am sure none of us would mind. Naruto raised an eyebrow since referring to his students without suffix might get some odd looks from the staff, then again if devils could erase and or alter certain memories he guessed it wouldn't hurt. Very well Rias, I take it you don't mind either Kaneko? said girl shook her head so he knew it would be fine with her. You can call me my name if you'd like Naruto sensei, you allowed to even use Chan if you feel interested, Akano said coming behind the teacher and pressing her assets into his back. That hardly seems appropriate Akano, and please stop, I can feel too much when you do that, Naruto said while his mind noted down her three sizes mentally, it seemed girls in Kuo had become quite mature at such a young age. Don't try and tease our teacher, Akano. Rias chastised the girl who kept smiling while she turned back to her food, Naruto sensei, do you make those bento every day? Yes, may I ask why? Naruto replied after swallowing a bit of his chicken rice as he looked at Rias. Can I try some? Naruto regretted looking at Rias as she had employed her big puppy dog eyes at him, you'd hardly think she was scared and shocked by his revelations last night by her response. Don't eat it all, pushing it toward her she took her chopsticks and took a small amount of rice and took her bite. Instantly her eyes lit up at the taste, Naruto sensei, after school, would you be interested in a small proposition I have for you? Well see, after we keep an eye on Issei, I know you're trying to call out any other fallen angels with him as bait, which I don't happen to like by the way, Naruto said and resumed eating his lunch while the redhead sat back down. I know but like any person I want to know if it was a couple of rogues or a group of them considering you took out one, Rias explained and Naruto could see your logic, he simple never liked people being used as bait. X break X Psi the second time at least had less blood, Naruto said holding Issei over his shoulder like a sack of potatoes, had been attacked by another fallen angel, who was soon scared off by Rias revealing her family name, as well as her presence upon appearing at the scene, as expected Shed left an impression on this likely group of fallen angels. A success in the end then, he'll have Kiba-kun bring him to the clubhouse tomorrow, well just drop Issei-kun at home before heading to yours? Naruto whirled his head around to the grinning Rias. Why my house, don't you have your own home? Naruto questioned the teen whose smile didn't fade in the slightest. Well the clubhouse is where I and Akano have been living for a while, it was actually what we wanted to talk to you about, if we could move in since there is enough room for us, plus we could more easily keep you informed of any changes in the underworld, Naruto could see the truth between the lines. You want me to cook for you don't you? Naruto said with deadpan tone, almost face palming but refusing to do so while she could see him. Why would you come to such a conclusion? Besides you wouldn't want to let your favorite students go hungry or be left in the cold old school building would you? Naruto knew better than to look this time and they dropped Issei in his bedroom with his minor wound healed. I know what you're doing, so stopping trying to give me that look, Naruto said before the girl leapt onto his back. Oh come on Naruto sensei, please see, she pressed her bust into his back and despite knowing he wasn't going to blush continued. Seriously, today is a complete flip as opposed to last night, should NT you still be wary of me? Naruto said as his arms grabbed the girl's legs as they slowly crossed the road to his home passing by the gates. I am, but I don't like people being seen by what they are presumed to be, 
much like how in school people like me for my good looks and that fact I am Rias Grammary and nothing else, it seems fair I should put your position out of my mind if I want to be an ally, even a friend. Friend, that's a word I haven't really used in some time, maybe this friendship will be more interesting than I might have originally given it credit, but remember one thing if you move in Rias, Naruto said grinning his own vulpine-like grin now. Oh what's that? If you want to be eat in my home, you and Akano are doing chores, and I expect you not to skip in classes or assignments I give you, or your peerage, he'll expect B plus from now on, Naruto said as he felt Rias lift her chin from his head. I hardly see how that will be an issue, Rias said knowing a few chores here or they wouldn't hurt. Issei is only a C grade with my tutoring, no B grade no lunches Rias, at least for you as the leader taking the responsibility, Naruto held his laugh at the loud what, from the girl on his back. The strange alliance of a sister of the four Satans and the last Compioni could be said to have truly began here, however what would happen during this alliance is anyone's guess, be it full of joy or woe, peace of war. Naruto was at the school gates as early as usual only to his surprise he found Sona the student council president waiting at the gates, can I help you Sona-san? Naruto asked as he slowed his pace for the bespectacled girl. I take it Rias wasn't harmed after she came with her peerage to your house? Sona questioned in a professional tone but you could hear the concern in her voice. Nothing happened, merely me clarifying things for her, so is your peerage well then if you have been spying on me it's only fair you know I do the same, when necessary of course, Sona nodded still shocked how her bluff worked. Her familiar could barely get close to Naruto's home, she'll be bringing her new member to school to join the club, on that note though you can inform the board he'll be taking up the position as advisor of Rias San's club as per her request. Very well Naruto sensei, see you in class, Sona made her way toward the school, no doubt to her own friends. She seemed to have greater control over her presence than Rias did, then again that was her personality showing through. Sigh, I hope I can catch the perverted duo today, seems unfair to include Issei still, I need to prank someone though, wonder if the rubber duck can still scare them for months if I plan it right, Naruto thought as his mind went about planning for his trap. One might want to pray for the intended victims, but considering who they were was it worth the effort? X break X it's not like you to impulsively decide to bring someone into the household, let alone go to a teacher's home whom also knows of our existence, and without consulting your friend, Sona said looking over as Issei had a strange Jenkin match with his friends. Well maybe, but I got myself a silly little brother, but in regard to Naruto sensei, he is a lot more than I or any of us could expect, he means us no harm, but be wary before you confront him, Rias gave her friends a minor warning, as she hoped that the blonde haired teacher did possess a short fuse, a really, really short fuse. I see, what is he then, Sona watched as her friend gave her a serious look. You may need to tell your sister about this, Naruto sensei is, a campioni, Rias then left the shell shocked girl so she could get to class on time, Shed instructed Kiba to bring Issei to the clubhouse but she went to ask Naruto to join them as well. A godslayer, Sona's expression was unchanged but her mind was quickly trying to deal with what, her honestly favorite teacher was. Rias didn't take long in finding Naruto by his desk, Naruto sensei, may I request something, it's related to your new position as club advisor. Naruto looked up, not that you could tell with his glasses there. Well Grammarie-san, how can I help you? Naruto replied to the redhead. Issei-kun will be brought by Kiba-kun and I was wondering if you joined the meeting in explaining its purpose of its member? Naruto nodded for his answer and Rias smiled, giving a small bow and thanks before taking her seat. Issei himself was still confused after previous events, after being stabbed and in his mind die he awakes next morning to find no one remembers Yuma not to mention finding that the nighttime seems to revitalize him whereas the sun drained him, later on being attacked by a weird man wielding the same thing, as Yuma but both Rias and Naruto suddenly seem to appear to stop it. You'll be joining my club today Issei-kun, he'll be sending another member to collect you and bring you to the clubhouse after class, everything will be explained there I promise, were the words she spoke to him as she walked into school. It was so great getting to walk with Rias senpai even though her hugging my arms to her chest would be my dream come true. Still why does Naruto sensei look different today? Issei wondered to himself not knowing that he was subconsciously sensing Naruto's presence. Kya. The girls of the class screamed as the blonde prince Kiba walked through the door, Kiba-kun. Seeing the handsome teen Issei, just scowled out of jealousy but annoyance too as was he any different from the girls in this given situation if the positions were flipped. Excuse me for a bit, Kiba waved off the blushing girls as he walked towards Issei, oh hello. What do you want? Issei asked the boy with a slight scowl at the softly smiling Kiba, just looking at the face wasn't helping his mood as it looked like an easy one to punch. I am here on behalf of Rias Grammary Senpei, Issei for a change was quick to the uptake as his face changed from a scowl. Eh so you're the one, Kiba offered a small nod, would you follow me? 
As the girls overheard this they all looked worried at how their prince was fraternizing with the enemy of all women. The pervert. The brunette ignored all the stares and comments made about him corrupting Kiba along the way. Half the time it was absurd nonsense like just being around him would make his perverted nature transfer to the blonde, as if he was contagious, perversion was simply a way of life. The pair of them made their way outside the man school building and to the elegant small building that was at one time the school for Kuo. Walking inside Issei couldn't help but feel more relaxed in the dark, much like last night, the darkness settled him more, which in retrospect was odd. It was only a few steps down the hall till they came to the main room, which was candlelit while maintaining a somewhat, gothic, Victorian style. Issei found it just as odd as he was used to this particular room, and taking peeks at the girls changing rooms for the five second before he was snared in a trap. It was weird that he always got caught so easily and got extra homework from only Naruto after he got told, it was prepared by the time he got to his next class when he did get caught. In the room was filled with odd trinkets on the walls and the tables around the room, of course the dark allure the room tried to give off was utterly ruined by the air of Naruto and Kaneko sitting on the couch, said blonde was slowly petting Kaneko's head while she slowly ate some Yukon. E.H. Naruto sensei is here too, petting the sweet lowly type school mascot Kaneko, should I be worried or jealous of him? I mean he is a teacher but she doesn't seem worried, wait, is Naruto sensei not wearing glasses? Issei took note of the blue eyes his tutor who had for the first time for him without those huge glasses. Naruto sensei is a fucking prince, I knew it. No teacher would wear glasses that thick without wanting to hide his features. Hello there Issei, I see Kiba-san brought you to your first meeting of the occult research club, Issei just looked confused still to what was going on, that plus the reveal of his looks had his mind plotting what would be failed revenge plots. Era. Era his mind seems distracted by something Naruto-san, I suppose we'll have to wait for him to come out of it, do you not mind Kaneko-chan sitting in your lap Naruto-san? Akino looked at her sweet little Kahai who looked to be enjoying the petting she was getting from her sensei. Had to believe he was someone feared by all factions, even now with his locks on his powers off but held back she could feel the invisible pressure pressing round her body as if squeezing her. This could be just her interpretation of it though. Eventually Issei shook off the shock and looked round the room before zeroing in on Akano. Oh you're back. Well you must be the new member, right? Akano gave a small respectful bow to the teen whose eyes were transfixed on her chest. Nice to meet you. I am the club's vice president, Himejima Akano. Obviously you know off the other member Kaneko Deju, and our new staff advisor Naruto Sensei. I am Hiyodo Issei. Nice to meet you too. While Issei mentally listed off all of Akino's various sexy features in his head Kaneko despite the pleasant petting had starting staring or rather glaring at the boy's red-cheeked expression. His face is creepy, Naruto let out a minor chuckle hearing her, agreeing but that was the nature of perverts, most of the time they barely knew they had such expressions, Jiraiya being ironically a large amount of research despite the amount of so-called research he did, when not getting caught. That was a rare occasion, you'll get used to it, in time at least Kaneko. Naruto felt Rias getting close thus slowing down his petting, even though his reduced petting ushered the smallest of whimpers from the white-haired girl in his lap, don't worry, I am not stopping, he whispered as he continued his indulgence, it was a simple way to relax for both of them but the first time taken so freely as in their usual lunchtime meals there was only so much he could placate her without looking odd. Kaneko leaned her head against his chest while continuing to eat her sweets, the grammary air entered the room with her sway and tucking a hair or several behind her ear, thank you for waiting. I needed to make sure everything was ready to be moved. She moved to the desk and leaned back against it while Akano moved to her side, remaining standing. We welcome you to the occult research club, both the new member and newly appointed advisor. Issei nodded while sat next to Naruto and Kaneko glancing at the pair now and again. But the occult research club is a mere facade, it's just my hobby. What do you mean? Issei asked wondering what the club full of such beautiful girls, sans him and Kiba due to them being males, could be a facade for. To get straight to the point, Almost everyone here is a devil, Rias said crossing her arms under her bust. E.H., almost everyone? And devils really? Issei's confusion was ignored as Rias decided to bust out the information he was seeking. The black-winged man you saw yesterday was a fallen angel, they are one of our two possible enemies as devils. The others being angels, fallen angels are those who fell from heaven's grace and were cast out due to their lustful or wicked nature, as a result the fallen angels descended to hell to try and take it for their own. Issei tried to understand what was being said but being a teen whose usual thoughts revolved around boobs, TV, school, boobs and more boobs made if confusing for him. Nevertheless Rias continued, we devils obtain power through making pacts and contracts to fill their desires for prices. Fallen angels attempt to kill devils by taking control of humans they find. On the other hand though God has his angels tasked with destroying both fallen angels and devils, 
The end result makes a three-way standoff, it has been like that for some time yet at the moment there is a minor truce between all parties so there is little escalation of activities. Looking over Rias took note of Issei simply scratching his head while Naruto was paying no attention and just petted Kaneko's head, said girl rubbing her head against his chest and she looked very comfortable too. No way was she jealous of the attention she was getting from their handsome teacher. Do you understand everything I just told you? Naruto turned one eye to the boy inspecting his expression. Eh not really, I mean all this stuff about devils and angels plus fallen angels is really too much for a school student like me, Issei said with a small nervous laugh. Amano Yuma, Issei's expression instantly changed at the mention of the girl, Rias grinned at his attention being drawn to her, you remember her don't you? You had a date with her after all. I, I have no idea where you heard that name, but please don't treat it as some occult phenomenon. Issei clenched his hand being reminded of the girl who didn't seem to exist. Don't act out Issei, the girl existed I remember her from yesterday, Issei's head whirled round to Naruto whose deep blue met his own, the girl was a fallen angel who killed you. But, but Matsuda and Motohama didn't remember anything, no one remembers Yuma-chan. Reaching into his pocket Naruto pulled out a picture of him and Yuma leaving the school grounds, had taken it in case he needed such a thing for some coercion, but was simply evidence to the facts now. She used her powers, she erased her presence from their minds, memories, and recordings Shed created for her mission, Issei took the picture and started at it deeply as if Yuma would just disappear from it. Her mission was to kill you Issei, Naruto said getting his attention away from the picture. Why would her mission be to kill me? Naruto poked a finger to Issei's chest. Because she believed you have something dangerous to her faction hidden inside you. Yes and since you were killed it was clear they discovered it was true that something was hidden. Rias piped and not sure if Naruto needed to keep butting in on her introduction and explanation. I remember now, Yuma-chan talked about saw something. Issei tried to remember exactly, but it was still very hazy after getting stabbed and dying after all. A sacred gear, it's an unusual power that resides in certain humans, it is said that most of the great men in history possessed it. Akano added to try and alleviate some confusion enjoying the cute spectacle of Naruto and Kaneko along with Issei's expressions. At times thy have power so strong it can threaten devils and fallen angels, raise you left hand Issei, she instructed the boy who did as he was told now standing up too, now close your eyes and imagine the strongest being that comes to mind. T this is sort of sudy he was cut off by Naruto putting Kaneko down onto the couch with a minor look of disappointment at the loss of petting, Naruto sensei. Naruto raised his arm to Issei it glowed for a moment before a black and crimson gauntlet appeared on his arm. This is an example of a sacred gear Issei, if you're lucky you might have something like this try to picture this in your mind and see if it changed when you follow your feelings. Naruto dispersed the gauntlet while Issei scrunched his face in concentration, it was barely 10 seconds before he let out a sigh of defeat. No I can't feel or see anything, he hung his head whole going down to his knees. It can't be helped, well simply have to take it slow Issei and thank you Naruto sensei for the demonstration, what was that gear's name? She questioned very curious as to what he had. Figure it out, there will be clues if I use it, darn he seems determined to make us find out on our own now that he told his race now, I suppose it's fair but why can't he just explain? Rias mentally pouted to herself but refused to do so externally as she was still maintain appearances for Issei. Are you sure there wasn't a mistake? Rias shook her head at the teen while Kaneko crawled back into Naruto's lap and placed his hand on her head, she was very pushy when she wanted something, even petting. No, the fact is the fallen angels feared it enough to kill you, the only reason you're alive now is because I resurrected you, she picked up a small leaflet from the side of her desk, do you remember this? The flyer I got while waiting for Yuma-chan, you summoned me from this before you fully passed on, to bring you back from death you have been reborn into the household of Rias Grimori daughter of duke Ramori, an upper class devil, you Issei are my servant devil, Rias flared her devil wings, and the rest of the peerage followed suit despite one of them being very comfy where she was currently. You're all devils. Indeed were the same, except for Naruto sensei, Akino said smiling while Issei turned his attention to Naruto. Then, what are you sensei? Naruto looked up at the teen and let out a small breath. I am human, basically, but to put simply as to class of. I am a god killer. Issei's mouth did a good impression of a fish hearing this, but that's me. You on the other hand need to accept your change into a devil Issei. Upon saying this, the teen felt his own wings burst out his back and somehow not tear his clothes, in fact none of the other's clothes seemed torn from the large wings popping out. Indeed, so welcome Issei, now let's explain how contracts work for us devils, Rias went on to explain how the flyers and leaflets she used and give out where how devils found clients to fulfill contracts and receive payments. They attempted to send Issei to a frequent client of Kaneko's via teleportation seal, 
but he didn't have enough power to support it so was told to take his bike leaving the rest in the room with Naruto. Although during the explanation Naruto needed to slap the boy's head when he discovered that if he rose in devil ranks he could take on servants who Issei questioned would they have to do anything, even perverted and erotic things if I asked them. Rias has said yes so he was quite excited to be a devil now if his dream of being a harem king could come true, he had a long and likely very painful journey ahead of him before that dream was fulfilled, but it's got to start somewhere. So what are you going to do now Naruto sensei? Rias turned to Naruto enjoying his tea that Akano provided. She had potential it seemed as a tea maker, I know you aren't going to explain that gauntlet you had, is there anything you wish to discuss? How long until I meet with your brother? He said bluntly as Kiba and Kaneko had been called for contracts, his body language was closed off now more than when he was petting Kaneko. Head said it's his first priority when he has time, being one of the four satans of hell doesn't give him much time, but he did sound very alarmed when I explained to him you had appeared, he wanted to come right away, Naruto took a look at Rias who rubbed her head. I take it someone kept him behind in hell, not only is he a satan, but he has his peerage to consider along with his wife and his son, my nephew, his wife is also his queen like Akano is, she's known as the strongest queen, she also helps Onisama with certain behaviors, he at times can get very, distracted. This had surprised Naruto. A satan by what he was hearing was likely a laid back or bizarre character, maybe not as thoughtless, cruel beat of a devil he was used to when he had fought devils in the past, no need to think about that, it's behind me. If that's the case I can wait to meet your brother, so do you and Akano-san still get requests to fulfill contracts? He was curious as to what exactly they had to do. Not so much I, Akano does a lot less as very few are inclined to her particular tastes when dealing with men. A few do enjoy simply sitting with her and drinking tea. Kiba gets a lot of attention from young women and Kaneko has a usual amount of contractors for her, you seem very comfortable with her in your lap, Rias didn't know that Kaneko spent so many lunches with the blonde. Kaneko is my friend, we simply enjoy each other's company. That and she likes to enjoy the sweets and treats I make her, to be honest she reminds me of someone I used to know, I took note of her similarity the first class one had with her group, Naruto clicked his fingers and a golden chair appeared next to the couch to which he sat and crossed his leg over his knee. Rias would admit it did give him a more imposing appearance and his posture now exhumed power, it's likely how he used to sit for meetings, in her thoughts Rias didn't take too much notice of the glowing mandala on the floor. Ria Tan. A long red haired man shouted in a panic looking round the room before spotting Rias before lunging for her, Ria Tan. Are you alright I was so worried when I heard you were in trouble with a Kampioni. Oni Sama, you said you were too busy to come right now, Rias said in a panic while trying to push off her clinging elder brother. Naruto while in a mild sweat drop moment turned to Akano. Ria's brother is a cis con isn't he? Akano just smiled and added a small nod, which the spectacle went on in front of them, another seal appeared underneath them and from it a silver haired woman wearing a maid uniform who went over to Ria's brother and pinched his face while pulling him from the now embarrassed girl. What do you think you are doing? You know that you are too busy to leave everything to check on your sister Sears ex sama the woman gave the man a strict tone but it was obvious how the two were to each others, just from their actions it was clear to Naruto this was likely Rias brother's wife. But, but, the glare he got made him shrink a little before he looked toward the blonde in the room, ah, oh, sorry, you must be Naruto, the Kampioni, nice to meet you, I am Sears ex Lucifer, the mon's upbeat tone didn't completely hide the hidden respect given to Naruto. A pleasure I am sure, you appearing has certainly surprised me Sears ex San. I was willing to wait if you were too busy with your life as I have a lot of time on my hands, Naruto gestured with his hand to the grey haired woman, who might your wife be. The maid bowed her head toward Naruto in a very respectful low bow, greeting Kampioni Sama, I am Grafia Lucifuge, maid of the Grimori clan and queen of my king Sears ex Sama, did Rias tell you who I was already? Obviously seeing the maid light clothes one might not immediately ask if she was the wife of the man child Sears ex was at times prone to be. No, I just know a good couple when I see one, there are subtitles that you can pick up on, and please don't refer to me by my title. Use my name, my mother gave it to me for a reason, Naruto said a little irritated as years of bullshit made him reluctant to use titles for people, be it himself or others. Very well Naruto Dono, please forgive my husband for his actions, he's supposed to be dealing with other affairs but as you can see he is quite prone to, she paused to slap the back of his head, moments of idiocy, especially where his sister is concerned. Understandable. If you are indeed busy we can arrange a meeting at my home later, Rias has already said she wishes to move in, Naruto smirked wanting to see how the man would react. What, Ria Tan what does he mean? You can't move in with anyone without consulting your older brother, what happened to the days we were so close? The man whined tugging at his sister's shoulders nearly shaking her. 
He offered it to us in my peerage, it's in a nice area and he agreed to cook Ni San, plus it seemed wise to get close to him given his position, Rias defended which caused both Sears X and Grafia to frown. It is still very unwise to do such a thing Rias, a Campione's home is a place where his rules are law. Even with good intentions you should have considered informing us of such a decision before it was made, if other families discovered this or other sides it could lead to a break in the truce, Grafia warned before a banging sound echoed in the room which was Naruto banging his foot loudly against the floor. The reason I allowed her and her peerage places in my home has nothing to do with alliances, I am a neutral party to your wars. All I have done is extend a hand in friendship, that's all this is, I don't fight your battles or wars, your previous Lucifer made absolutely sure that I would never aid him, Michael is no better in the grand scheme of alliances, standing up the chair vanished, but a golden armor covered his body making him look imposing to Sears X who stood in front of his wife channeling his own demonic power to push back what Naruto was releasing out to a degree. But few will see it that way, Sears X tone seemed much more mature now that he stared at Naruto's eyes. Maybe but my friendship has benefits, if your sister's intentions of friendship are true she can expect protection from me, if I deem them suitable a number of people can be my friend, if they are genuine with me and don't lie, Rias and Akano shivered slightly at the conversation now, it was good that Kiba, Kaneko or Issei were not here right now. I see, in that case I thank you for accepting my sister as your friend Naruto-san, perhaps next time we meet at your home it can be a little more calm, Naruto gave a nod as the armor disappeared from his body. I would like that, let Rias know so I can have a meal prepared for you both, I'll see you later Rias, Akano. Naruto took his leave from the room in the clubhouse as it was already dark and he had dinner to make. You really are lucky Rias, garnering the friendship of a campione is no small feat, especially the first one, Sears X said as he hugged his sister who was still shaking lightly, just be careful, he is very strong and no doubt can't be harmed under the old Satan's rule in one way or another. H hi, he wasn't even trying to release his power was he? Sears X shook his head at his sister whole Akno took a breath to calm herself, I wish he could be an ally to us devils but I can see why, I just hope we can be true friends as we learn more about him. Just be patient, someone like him has a lot to offer with his friendship, well be in touch, Grafia. The maid nodded as the seal lit up and teleported them away. It's so much different up close to it, the aura of a god killer, are you alright Akano? She asked her friend who seemed to have a large smile on her face still. Perfectly fine Bucha, I may need to wash myself though such pressure from him was a little enticing, I do wonder what skills he's obtained in his time and if he could show me something, Rias had to give her queen a look or two even though Akano was a sadist maybe Naruto brought out some masochistic part of her too. At least we know where we stand. I am glad us moving in isn't as much of an issue I thought it would cause all things considered, have you gotten most of your things ready Akano? Both of them had boxed up a fair number of their belongings, admittedly Rhea's boxes held a lot of stuff from her slightly embarrassing hobby. Just a few, essentials left to pack up, I do hope Issei-kun is having an easy time gaining his first contract, Akano said not knowing said teen was currently in an in-depth discussion with a fellow otaku over a knockoff anime series, plus his night would definitely not end there. X break X seems like you had an odd first assignment Issei, you okay? Naruto had talked with Issei's parents while he was on his job to talk about tutoring him more now, his parents were happy to oblige as such a helpful teacher was what they hoped would be a better role model than the old man who corrupted the boy. Issei himself had been lectured a bit by Rias after he got back as while he had discovered his sacred gear, which turned out to be in his opinion an awesome looking gauntlet, had failed to get a contract, by the time he got home Naruto was waiting and said his parents were going to let, make him go over to study, for the moment though he was making him some ramen, after all what was better. Yeah, I ended up imaging the strongest person I could think of, Issei lifted his left hand and the red gauntlet with the green jewel where the top of his hand was appeared, the fallen angel was stripped so easily and scared her off, I felt really good until I remembered I hadn't managed to get Kaneko's client's contract fulfilled, his sadness at not helping out his new club friends was outweighing his joy at seeing bare breasts, at least for now. You'll get better although your behaviors may only let you help out a certain kind of person, more than likely the first contract you get will be from a fellow pervert, pork or chicken. Naruto had the bowls with noodles, broth and vegetables ready. The only thing left to add was their chosen meat. You know Naruto sensei, it's still a bit unfair that you never told me we were neighbors, I mean I could have hidden my stash here so Okawa-san would never find it, and chicken please. He had to keep changing his hiding spots as his mother had a way of finding them and hiding them from him to keep him focused on work. You'd only get them back if your grades improved, just like your Icha Icha book, which you won't be seeing for a while, Naruto joked before he placed the bowls down and they both gave thanks before digging into their noodle goodness. This still all feels weird, I mean not the whole devil angle I love that, my dream of building my harem is possible now, more you being, you know, some big shot in everything, 
Issei said making Naruto smile at how simply he put it, condensing how massive his appearances in the world changed things. Part of me hopes that doesn't change as he grows from now on, but knowing him that perversion of his will never change, the two continued their meal and had finished with Naruto handing him back his Icha Icha on the promise head concentrate on his work tonight. Before long though both Rias and Akano came in through the door and saw Naruto the former still a little bit shook up from his dealing with her brother, there's still some ramen left Rias, enough for you and Akano, he'll be in my office, and I see you clearly are still afraid. Rias shot forward and grabbed his arm before he could leave fully, please don't, I, I didn't know how to react it, I underestimated your aura and you when I did my best to make sure you could be an ally. But I know now so I am sorry, I really want to get to know you. Naruto turned his head and looked right at the girl, taking in a deep breath, she did indeed want his friendship, more now that she saw a part of the real him. Very well, I suppose it wouldn't be proper for the host not to sit with his house guests, also I apologize for my outburst but I am aware of what my coming back into the world's eyes will do for those who stand next to me, regardless of race, it's likely that there will be increased attacks on you and your peerage. If not they are smart enough not to tread where the dead will lay for eternity, Naruto got another bowl for him, pick out your topping. Akano stepped forward to join her best friend as they claimed their bowls, Rias feeling a bit better now that she had a traditional Japanese dish, this is really good, is this a personal recipe Naruto sensei? Akano questioned after tasting the broth and the noodles. Ramen has been my favorite food as far back as I remember, eventually I learned how to make it on my own, didn't take me long before I tweaked my recipe to be tasty and nutritious you can be surprised how slimming well prepared ramen is when done right, it was his pride and joy in learning the Ichiraku recipe way back when, it was more or less a comfort food for when he remembered something bad or had a stressful day. I like it a lot, Japan has so many nice foods I want to try, but hardly get enough time too, this country has a lot to offer, Rias was glad the food was easing her nerves a bit more now, very much glad she hadn't let Naruto walk away and think she was deeply afraid of him. Era, are not to mention Bucha's love of Japan's various comics and alike. Rias glared at her friend, she couldn't help if she was a minor anime lover. Really, you read manga, that's unexpected, got any favorite series? Both girls gave their teacher an odd look as he let a grin grow on his face, what I can't like anime and manga too, you'd be surprised how fun they're to pass the time. Era, Era you are lucky bucko, sensei is a fellow otaku too it seems. Rias ignored her teasing friend for a moment, if her teacher had anime she really wanted to see it. You have a room for all your mangas and items alike don't you? Rias received a nod from Naruto who was feeling the barely restrained excitement from the girl, learning she was an anime fan now would give them something to discuss on a friendly basis when something like this happened again. Finish your ramen first then it'll take you, there might be something you like in there as well if you wish to join a Sakano. Naruto told them as Rias started guzzling her ramen down while somehow maintained some elegance to her. I am sure there will sensei. After clearing away the bowls Naruto led the two to one of the lower rooms and opened the door and Rias eyes instantly started to sparkle seeing the literal library of manga with figures and DVDs. It honestly just started one day, books are sometimes better but the pure imagination mangaka put into their work makes it more enjoyable, when their work got animated it becomes a lot more, even perverted ones, walking over to a large couch in the corner he picked up a small plushie, not to mention going to conventions lets you pick up a fair bit of swag. Can I stay in here from now on? Rias jokingly asked, at least he hoped she was joking, this was his anime cave and there was hardly room for a bed and wardrobe, he needed any extra space for upcoming series. No, you already picked your room, but books and comics are meant to be read so feel freely to take one now and again, just be careful, some are first editions from when they first came out, also make sure you are not listening now, are you? Naruto felt a sweat drop develop as Rias was going around the room look at the different series she could read. She's lost to us for now Naruto sensei ufufufu. Akano giggled at her king's behavior but spotted something out the window, Naruto sensei what's that in the back? My garden, seeing how this one will be deciding for a few minutes if we are lucky I can show you it, do you garden at all Akano? The girl shook her head as Naruto led her to the glass door which was a lot stronger than any burglar would ever believe, sliding it open Akano was treated to the sight of a glorious moonlit garden, it takes a lot of work to care for all of them but worth it in the end. So not unlike being a teacher, caring for all his students, Akano looked down at the unnatural blue roses, how did you manage to grow these? Time and effort, my green thumb let me grow all sorts with great success each and every time, I had to alter a common rose though so as a result it has much deadlier thorns, reaching he grabbed the rose and plucked it although if Akano wasn't focusing on how his hand easily grabbed the thorns with no blood shed notice another rose instantly grew in the space the former was plucked. But I am no stranger to pain, I give those boys enough of a hard time at school, I doubt they'd last long if I turned up my pervert catching methods, 
Akano felt her grin grow a little more at how forceful Naruto sounded when he talked about punishing those perverted boys. She'd seen the traps on occasion and how tight the wire was around them. Still I may need some help if things get too busy. Think you'd be interested to learn how to grow your own tea leaves for example. Well I am used to finding the odd leaf now and again when I lived in my former home. What harm could it do? Naruto smirked as he pulled out a knife from nowhere and went over to some tea plants and cut off some leaves. What tea is that? Something that should end tea grow in my garden. But this Akano is Darjeeling. He enjoyed the small gasp as this kind of tea you would usually find on the dangerous slopes in Nepal. Like I said great success each and every time. I grow them because I can but if you can use it for your tea go ahead. I have some tea one in too. Era era. You seem to be spoiling us now Naruto sensei. She said as she took the leaves and pulled out a container from nowhere herself. Darn female hammer spaces. Oh this isn't spoiling. This is catering to my house guests likes or should I call you tenants? Anyway you'd know if I was spoiling you and you'd not be able to stop me. Simply because I wouldn't let you. His feral grin Akano would swear on her new tea leaves made her toes curl in excitement. I may not even attempt to resist if I am ever that lucky Naruto sensei, Akano said as he waved her off walking back inside, a man like that, I might keep him if Bucko doesn't take her chance, Akano thought to herself while letting out a small giggle. Rias herself had her own thought though, so much to offer but I still wish I could add him to my peerage. I could be as affectionate as I want, even if Naruto sensei won't be so easily taken in by my looks. Unlike Issei kun. I hope he can help me with that when the time comes. Rias collected her manga to read before bed and headed to her room, which was the opposite of Naruto's, as luck would have it. Laying on top of her new comfy bed, she only wished that her new friendship with her teacher would grow for both of them in her peerage. She wanted to make sure he wasn't alone now, mainly because he was who he was. Despite everything she had heard and seen already, Naruto sensei was still Naruto sensei. In Naruto's room, he had put on his sleep wares and slipped into his bed lying on his back with hands behind his neck, all of them, they're pretty good to have around, it's been a while since I shared my garden or my collection with anyone, it'll be nice to talk about it. Letting his thought drift away for now he focused on what he'd like to do for them if anything bad came up, knowing Issei had get himself into some kind of trouble that Rias might have to stay out of, it'll just have to wait and see what life holds now in my deck, at least I can look after them as a teacher and a friend now, Kaneko will be happy with all the snacks he'll be able to make her now I bet. Closing his eyes he let the flow of the world enter him like he did long ago as the markings of the sage appeared over his eyes, it still feels wrong to use senin mode, the cycle has even affected the earth herself, still I can still feel them in the city, he'll need to find them tomorrow, if Rias is right they likely have a plan and I was known to fuck up any villain's plan back in the day, Hakurama, he was as always met with silence. I guess old habits die hard, even to this old fox, Naruto let sleep take home and his dreams flow though for this night. Ring, ring. Reclick Naruto hit the button on his alarm. He wanted to get a more entertaining one. However, experience told him this wasn't possible, or more accurately, the large number of broken clocks kept him from buying new ones. Time to get up. Unlike many people, Naruto was very used to early morning. Being a teacher only helped with having to get to school early, even more so now that he had breakfast and lunches to make. Heading to the showers, he got started with his hot water. However, halfway through his shower, he heard the door open and he looked over his shoulder. There by his door and absolutely nothing was Akano looking at his wet body, said girl was looking over all his body's scars, especially the large one on his right side, a body forged from wars and battles, a testament to his title but more telling of whom he was, either take a picture or take your shower Akano. The blunt words snapped the girl out of her moment of deep thought as the blonde turned his attention back to his own cleaning, completely ignoring the lustrous body of Akano from her silk-like hair to her generous, as well as, massive bust and below. That is a surprising reaction. Taking his offer she joined him in the quite large shower, which looked to fit maybe four people, plus it was fully stocked with shampoos, conditioners and shower gel. Any reason you were up so early? Naruto asked focusing on only his body and nothing else with his eyes closed now, the less he saw the less teasing the girl would try and she seemed the type to do just that. I wanted to catch you cooking breakfast and help you with it, I am used to early morning on occasion not that catching you in such a state was my plan of course ufufufu, she giggled as she started the arduous task of washing her hair. Naruto just shrugged to himself as he rinsed his hair of his own shampoo, had gone for coconut today, don't make a habit of it, I hardly think any rumors of you seeing my body will go over well with any of the school staff, Issei too now that I think about it. Era, or I wouldn't dream of spilling any details of what I saw, although I might guess few would believe the kind and helpful Naruto sensei had scars like these, her fingers reached for his back and traced the large wound. That and you have your devil memory tricks too, plus I don't mind the scars helps me put things in perspective from time to time, Naruto and Akano continued in silence, the teen taking as many mental pictures as she could, even if she couldn't properly tease him right now, she had time to prepare. 
Exiting the shower she watched his body steam and dry before he put on his boxers and pants, she got dried off too and followed him downstairs to find him cooking already, no doubt from a speedy dress, she was nearly, bordering on sorely, tempted to pout like Rias would if you touched her things, already she could see the bentos already and Naruto, he was tasting the soup. It didn't take long for a slightly groggy Rias to join them downstairs, her hair still I need of a little brush, she gulped down the orange juice before her rice and omelette was placed in front of her with some salad and bacon, sleep well Rias. Quite well indeed, your beds are quite comfortable and your showers was larger than I ever expected, I didn't really get a chance to say so yesterday, you left so quickly after all, Rias said tucking in but wondering why Akano had a cat with the canary-like grin on her face despite her best attempts to hide it. Being a teacher means you have to be there first, at least everything here is prepared, Rias your lunch is the red box, Akano you get violet and Kaneko's is the white one. Please give it to her when you see her, tell her today it's chocolate cornets. Taking a piece of toast with a friend egg and bacon on top he waved the two off before leaving. Sigh, I wanted to talk with him a bit more before he left, also why are you smiling so much Akano? Rias questioned knowing her best friend knew something she didn't. Oh it's nothing bucko, nothing at all, she might have missed Naruto cooking but she would let Rias simmer in her curiosity before telling her what she saw for her morning. A large surprised squeak would be heard by the gardens various birds and animals living there. X break X for Issei, the morning was normal like most others he had, except of course he was a devil with a sacred gear to use when in trouble, a fact or two he was still going over, a bit more relieved after his ramen with Naruto last night though. That and he got his Icha Icha back too, getting his uniform he collected his lunch and left the house his mind slightly distracted, until he had a small yelp, turning around he saw what most men seemed to enjoy, a pair of pure white panties, exposed from under a long skirt, it only got better since said panties seemed to belong to a cute young girl with long blonde hair in what looked to be a nun outfit. Such pure white, this is a rare, no, super rare sight. His mind yelled before his common sense took over and he rushed to help the girl to her feet, offering his hand to the girl he asked, hey, are you alright? The girl took his hand as she got back to her feet but a strong wind carried her headdress off her exposing her emerald green eyes to Issei, she's cute. The teen let go of her hand and quickly fetched her headdress before it was carried away by the wind. Thank you, she said in a soft and gentle voice. Issei considered how to continue his conversation with the cute girl. After all she didn't know him or his reputation and didn't give him an odd look. Anyo, I am lost and need help. The girl poked her fingers together as she looked up at Issei with a minor redness in her cheeks. He definitely couldn't resist such cuteness from the blonde girl. It was too strong for his desires. That and she asked for help and Naruto would not be too kind if he simply left the girl to fend for himself. Helping a girl when she needs help had been a lesson one time when he tutors him on how to talk with girls once. So are you here on a trip? Issei asked seeing how the girl was carrying a large suitcase with her, she shook her head in the negative to his question. No, I was appointed to this town's church, the girl explained to Issei. Oh you're a sister then? That makes sense with your outfit, it was lucky that he had left so early for school as otherwise he'd have had to rush, still given the option walking with a cute sweet girl would be seen as a worthwhile option to Issei actually to most men at that age if you think about it. I am so glad I met such a nice person like you, it must be been divine guidance. The girl smiled up at him with a little red in her cheeks only serving to amplify her levels of cuteness. Issei just let out a nervous chuckle before noticing her crucifix around her neck and couldn't help but feel off put by it, his thought of why he felt like that were cut off by the loud sound of a child crying, looking to the side the pair of them spotted said child grasping his knees, which he looked to have scraped. Don't cry, it's just a scrape, you're a boy after all, the nun rubbed the boy's head to calm him down a little, taking both her hands she placed them above his wound and they began to glow green, a ring on both her hands lit up as well. As Issei noticed her healing the wound he felt a sharp pain from his left hand, ha huh, what was that pain just now? Look, your wound's all gone. The boy looked mystified by his healed knee, the girl turned back to Issei and let her tongue stick out a little bit, sorry, force of habit. The two resumed their walk toward the church's general direction, I felt it in my left hand, could it be? I must be surprised you, the girl noted seeing how deep in his thoughts Issei seemed to be, and while most would have been freaked out Issei of course had seen weirder stuff already, which were his new club friends or simply his teacher, he remembered a strange blade in Naruto's hands, after he Issei, got stabbed, and a blue flame. Thankfully he wasn't too deep that he didn't hear her, oh, well you have a pretty amazing power. It's a wonderful power granted by God. The girl's smile turned melancholic after she said this though, yes, a wonderful power. The smile was replaced once she saw the large spire of the church though, oh, that must be the place. Oh yeah, that's the only church we have in town, 
Issei looked at the church but quickly felt the same discomfort when he stared at the crucifix only ten times worse. B but I haven't seen anyone over there. He reigned in his anxiety over the building as best he could. I'd like to return the favor, so would you like to accompany me? The girl questioned while Issei waved his hand to signal no. Oh no, I've got school to get to, said Issei, all the while his left hand was shaking. I see, my name is Asia Argento, please call me Asia. Asia finally introduced herself in a very polite manner, of course in turn Issei did just the same. I am Hyodo Issei, you can call me Issei. Issei-san, I am so happy to have met someone as kind as you this quickly after arriving in Japan, he words made the teen feel embarrassed for being so honest and kind to him, plus from such an adorable girl too, please visit the church when you find the time, promise me. Yeah, okay, he nodded before turning for his way back to school, see you around. Yes I hope so. X break X. So, you started your morning by walking a sweet young nun to the church before you realized it's not the best place to go ever. As a new devil, I guess you wouldn't know. I take it your usual behavior concerning women didn't pop up, right? Naruto asked Issei during their lunch hour. Since he had his class before the break, Head asked what had done before school as he had spotted Rias talking, lecturing, to him. Well she seemed to sweet Naruto sensei. Even if she did flash her panties, I didn't want her to see me staring too much at her. Plus she's a nun too so it seems worse now, Issei said rubbing the back of his head while Naruto lowered his glasses a little. Too cute then, Issei just nodded furiously at that, I guess one step forward with that behavior, as he finished his sentence the girls all arrived in the room Kaneko taking her new spot on his lap, he honestly didn't care about how any teacher saw him, both he, Rias and Sona would be able to simply hypnotize anyone who tried to bring it up anyway, hello girls, and Kiba, you all okay? We are perfectly fine Naruto sensei. Although Bushu was upset with you after this morning, Akino said as the red-haired girl glared at her friend and then Naruto. What reason does she have to be upset with me? Akino let out a small giggle to herself, which told Naruto everything, really you told her that you walked in on me in the shower. Yufufu, I didn't see the harm, she asked me why I was so happy with myself, Kaneko looked up from her sweets to Naruto's face. I don't see the issue, Akino just curved on me and sharing showers doesn't bother me, no matter who's in it. Naruto said simply as he continued eating his own food while petting Kaneko who relaxed a little and returned to her own food. Wait does that mean you got to see Akino senpei naked, like bare breasted naked Naruto sensei? Issei asked with steam and a little blood coming out of his nose. I don't like that look on your face, Kaneko added to the conversation making Issei feel like the sweet quiet girl had punched him, brutally and excruciatingly. Well I suppose he did but he seemed to turn away from me, without a single care but he was naked too so it was fair game, are you really okay with sharing, think we could do it again Naruto sensei. She started to lean in close to his face but he cut her off by filling her mouth with his beef cut, which had her eyes sparkling and now very distracted with trying to discern the flavor. Definitely may need to arrange some shower times, Naruto muttered to himself with Rias giving him an odd look and unsure if she didn't want her own shot to share a shower to see what her best friend saw, she saw him first and she wanted to see more if the shower was free to use. Totally wasn't jealous of seeing the hunky teacher before she got a chance, no she was not jealous her best friend got to see her fellow anime and manga enthusiast's body before she got even a small peek. Anyway we digress as Akino luckily was completely distracted by the food in her mouth, which wasn't helped when she found her bento by Naruto was even better, so many flavors to try and pick out if she ever wanted to replicate it, Kiba joked where were his and Issei's lunches. If you want one just ask, just tell me your likes, was the reply he got which really should not have been a surprise, considering Naruto enjoyed cooking, making sweets for Kaneko's joy was just the tip of this iceberg, but like many times lunch had to end and everyone went back to their classes for their lessons but Naruto had covered the lesson already with his final class so allowed them some self-study time and exited to visit the occult research club clubhouse. When he got there he found Rhea similarly had a free period off with Akino, both of which were having a chess match with each other, Rhea was winning having claimed three pawns and a rook, Akino only one pawn, Knight to e5, he said as Akino spotted the chance and took Rias queen making the girl blink in surprise. Era era, look at that, it seemed Rias in her haste had forgotten to defend her queen while protecting her king and establishing her defenses, such strategy, you play chess a lot Naruto sensei. Naruto gave a small shrug as he sat down on the nearby couch, I find shogi is a better game, but I haven't found a good opponent for a while, not to mention some of the other games I've played. Like what Naruto sensei? Rias asked while claiming Akino's knight and putting her in position to take her other one, she had to change her plan now from such a big change. Taikyoku Shogi, 
402 pieces on each player's side on a 36 by 36 board. Took me a long time to move up to being good at that game. Would be a system ID use if I wanted what the devils have. Still chess has a charm to it when you find good players. Naruto took out some of the first year's work to mark, Kaneko's class actually, he was glad he was so used to the monotony of marking their work at a fast pace, his pen was a flurry or correcting spelling mistakes and grammar, by the time Rias had beaten her friend at chess they watched as their teacher zoomed through his work, his glasses having been taken off too so they could see his eyes go back and forth like a tennis ball in play. It's amazing to watch, to think this is how he marked our work Akino, Rias said a bit surprised there wasn't smoke coming from the pen. Sometimes it's a lower workload but I've been a little behind and want to get them done before I hand out the next assignment for Kaneko's class, Naruto's response had Rias nearly jump, as he didn't look up as he worked, ah the joys of multitasking. Oh, if that's the case would you care for some tea while you do your marking Naruto sensei? Naruto nodded suspecting Akino wanted to try out her new expensive tea leaves, which he had flat out given to her for free. I doubt she told Rias yet as her seeing me naked was probably more fun to use to tease her. At least it will take a lot to get a proper reaction out of me, Rias just caught me off guard before, that in her hair, Naruto thought to himself as he looked at one student's work and circling several mistakes, honestly head read better paragraphs on the internet, such was a place of a vast treasury trove of new writers waiting to be discovered, or just people who like to write odd stories for their own enjoyment. Who was he to say? X break X. So, what's a stray devil? This was Issei's question as after he had arrived at the clubhouse, Akino had gotten world from a duke that one of his servants had gone stray and was in the city, had requested Rias and her peerage to take care of said servant, Naruto had offered to tag along and observe his students and make sure they were safe like any advisor would. An excuse to placate any stuffy angel or devil that asked why a campione was accompanying a noble devil heir on a stray devil hunt. A stray used to be a servant to another devil, Kiba explained as the group began their transport in the teleportation seal while Naruto appeared in his golden dust shifting, sometimes, devils betray or kill their masters, so they can live doing whatever they please, that's what we call stray devils. We're headed to a deserted house, a stray devil is said to lure people into it and then eat them, Akino informed the group. Really doesn't help the image of devils, does it really, people would think different if they saw the good instead of the bad. Naruto said before facing Rias, in case people do ask questions I will defend you if it is life or death, if she attacks me I can do whatever I wish. I understand Naruto sensei, thank you for coming along all the same, with Isekun being so new having someone extra to rely upon as a relief, Rias offered a small bow and turned to Issei who was ever so slightly freaking out at the idea of being eaten before he sees heavenly breasts, Isekun, the abuse of power without a master will turn a stray devil into a monster, now, do you know chess? The group opened the door to the building, the old smell of blood hitting their noses Issei being the newest was looking green but a hand on his shoulder from Naruto helped him calm down. Chess, you mean the board game. Issei had a bit of knowledge but hardly enough to ever call him an expert on the game. Yes, in chess there is the king which is what I am, from there we have the queen, two rooks, bishops and knights along with the eight pawns, devils assign pieces into their subordinates in order for them to take on some of the traits of that particular piece. Rias explained a bit but Issei looked no clearer on the subject. Traits of the pieces? Issei just scratched his head in wonderment. Well you'll see what I mean as you'll be just observing the battle tonight, pay attention so you can see how devils fight, Rias said while Naruto felt something fool moving in the shadows, it was lucky Issei was distracted by some of what was going on, looking carefully on the floor you'd see dried bloodstains and what seemed to be remains of a human. I smell something foul, a dark voice echoed in the large empty building but I also smell something sweet and something absolutely irresistible, I wonder what was foolish enough to come in here. It doesn't matter in the end, Naruto said not liking all the emotions he was feeling, empathy sucked when you were on alert and expected a fight of sorts, you're just a devil who betrayed your own kind to fulfill some selfish desire, you set a bad example for others. It'll make sure to make an example of you, the voice growled as it stepped forward it was a woman with long messy hair, red eye and most obviously no clothes to cover her exposed breasts, of course being able to see better in the dark the peerage and the teacher could see that while the top half was fine the lower half of this stray was hideous. Like some strange centaur the lower half was a beast with four large legs with human-like claws at the end. Stray Devil Visor. In the name of the Gremory family, I've come to slay you, the red head declared striking a pose. You should get an explosion behind you if you want to do Sentai poses Rias, Naruto pointed out earning a small restrained giggle from Akano before he moved his hand and harshly slapped Issei in the back of his head. Ow, what did I do? I didn't say anything, he whined to his teacher, 
had only managed to restrain himself from shouting out at his first fully aware moment of seeing a pair of naked breasts, he couldn't help it if this stray was happy to expose them to him and the others, he needed to see them in his strong youth. He would bury himself in a nice pair he hoped one day. And now insolent girl, soon he'll cover you and the man in blood that matches your hair, Visor began to molest her own breasts making Naruto slap Issei again, he did it both to stop him being too perverted, needed to focus and if he was honest for being attracted to an ugly pair in his opinion, he did write erotic novels now so new from record what a good pair looked like. Research was no joke, he just was better and less stupid about it. Naruto sensei, why is it that small fry have such large mouths to flap? Ria smirked at her teacher in a mock haughty way, in response Visor lifted its legs up in a rearing fashion, her snake-like tail poking behind her now. Yua, what is that, the bottom is so horrible, it makes such nice boobs a waste. Issei scrambled backwards a little at the monster now in front of him. That's what happens when a devil runs free and abuses their powers without a master, Kiba said as two magic seal appeared over both visor's nipples. Please don't let that be what I am expecting now, Naruto put his head in his hand as the nipples glowed on the monster before firing yellow light beams at them, by the gate of Babylon. Naruto uttered as the devils ran for cover while Naruto didn't move. Naruto sensei. A few cried as the beams hit the walls and where the blonde had stood, when they looked they saw Naruto holding a large shield in front of him, looking like it took no damage at all from the attack as none of it had melts or left holes like there were in the wall. Well she attacked me first, guess she's fair game now, cracking his neck Naruto took a stance as he drew out a long katana, care to join your teacher Kiba? Naruto asked his fellow blonde who smirked as they both disappeared in a flash of speed. That Issei is the trade of a knight, Kiba is gifted with great speed and when combined with his sword, she watched as both of Visor's front claws were cut clean off past the elbow making her stand on what looked to be lion legs. It makes him a deadly warrior and you see Naruto is no different as a campione, a god killer is stronger than any human, surpassing even heroes of old with their strength. Rias was impressed with the pure speed Naruto displayed, it was clearly faster than Kiba and the blade looked so pristine and the blood flowing off of it. Kaneko seeing her chance started to walk toward Visor, who became much more of a monster, its lower abdomen suddenly opening up into a mouth complete with jaws and charged forward to swallow Kaneko. The girl did nothing despite Issei shouting to her, don't worry, Rias said just as the teeth started to budge, the jaws reopened slowly revealing Kaneko standing with arms out holding the jaws open, her uniform having taken the only damage, Kaneko is my rook. Her traits are tremendous strength and defensive ability, something like that won't be enough to even scratch her. Be gone. Swing with her fist Kaneko easily destroying the jaws and teeth of Visor's lower body, Visor herself was carried by the blow into a pillar knocking it and her to the ground. Akano Rias called as the black-haired vice president took her own steps forward. Hi, bucko, era era what to do now? Akano muttered as both cut-off arms moved to attack Rias. Bucko. Winding his fist back Issei called to his own power, sacred gear. He blasted the arm away while golden chains restrained the other arm the same chains that now held Visor to the ground. Good reflexes Issei, Naruto said walking to the arm and stabbing it several times in rapid succession until it was fully dead as many could tell you there's a big difference in all dead and mostly dead, you all right Rias san Yes I am fine, reaching out Naruto helped her to her feet, interesting tool you have, Akano, finish her it looks like she won't be moving now. A bad girl who tried to harm our bucko needs to be punished, now that you're like this it'll make it all the more, sweeter since I can see those chains digging into your skin. Akano grinned as her purple eyes opened in glee at the deadly chains, she knew they were Naruto's and she was definitely wanted to see if she could borrow them. Akano is my queen, the next in line to the king so combines all the powers of the other pieces. Akano started to channel lighting around her fingers as she observed Visor still squirming about. Era era you still have some energy left in you, he'll have to take care of that, raising her hands high she released the lightning strike on Visor who cried out as the lightning fried her pain receptors all at once and having such a large body still was not helping with that. Akano specializes in devil magic, but most of all she's the ultimate sadist, Rias said as Akino's face became more reddened as she continued to see her prey try to worm out the chains while in pain. Not enough yet, well I guess we'll see just how much you can take, shall we? Akano raised her hands again to bring down the thunder on the stray. Hum, not bad. That quirk certainly suits her considering how she reacted to my body, probably imagined herself giving some of her own to me, Naruto idly muttered out loud as he took off his coat to preserve Kaneko's modesty, Kaneko gave him a strange look but she could tell there was nothing really meant by it, just an observation, the fact that Naruto was paying her head a little already had nothing to do with her lack of accusation of him being a pervert. Akino that's enough, Rias called off her friend, already, 
but seeing this thing in chains while I punished it was quite exciting, it's a little disappointing for it to end so soon, Akino smiled with her hand on her cheek, which was still maintaining some redness in them as she walked over to Naruto and by extension of petting, Kaneko. Any last words? Rias looked down at the stray visor who managed to look up to Rias. Kill me, she practically begged which in pain, very well then, creating a large magic seal Rias channeled her own devil power, checkmate, releasing a dark black energy, which destroyed visor in an instant Rias turned back to her peerage, she also observed the gold chains get pulled back into a ripple in the air above Naruto, what were those chains Naruto sensei? Loot from a conquest, Naruto said as if it explained everything but felt a tug at his free hand and turned to see Akino's face a bit closer than he'd expect. Naruto sensei, might I ask if I can borrow those chains at some time? I'd like to experiment with them, Akino asked pushing her chest into his arm now no doubt expecting him to crumble. He felt the grin on his own face as he responded, if you behave in class and out well see, just remember walking on me in the shower is not behaving. Naruto enjoyed the look she gave him. Puppy dog pouts were cute no doubt but being hundreds of years old helps you build a certain amount of immunity, he'd hardly want to imagine himself being so easily manipulated by a look. In another universe entirely a similarly aged blonde caved into a request from his pink haired alien fiance, her levels of cuteness were much too high for the body she had developed naturally, a far deadlier weapon than anything she could make. Shaking his head he turned to Rias who looked to almost be pouting but quickly corrected her face as she spotted Naruto turn to her, are we heading back to the clubhouse or my home? The clubhouse, I haven't asked you if I can set up the seal in your house so my peerage can arrive there instead after jobs, Rias knew that while the clubhouse was nice, being so close to the room of anime and manga goodness was much better, plus, in her opinion, it would be safer there under his protection in case of an emergency. All right then, it'll make space in one of the back rooms if that helps, Naruto whose hand was still petting Kaneko walked out with the others in tow back to their seal for quick travel back to the clubhouse and for Issei to try and obtain a contract of his own. Going out on the bike again did not help his mood though since he had asked what piece he was and was told. A pawn aka foot soldier. His night was not going to get any better, x break x. Getting back to the clubhouse Naruto set about jotting down some notes as seeing Akino's display of sadism had given him a littler inspiration for a new story, he still didn't need to write another one for a while but nice to get one in the making, he hadn't done a sequel to Icha Icha Batsu for a while. He wrote them in his idea notebook he kept on him via an old storage seal on his wrist great place to put his keys and wallet alike. What are you writing in that book of yours Naruto sensei? Rias asked wearing a pair of glasses as she looked over some documents. Akano was currently making some more tea while Kaneko was resting her head in his lap while he petted her and she ate her cookies. She and asked him to pet her once he sat down by placing his hand on her head, it was sweet really, reminded him a lot of a cat, her amber eyes only adding to that in respects. Just a few ideas for a little project I have some time to do, he answered trying to feel out Issei still as him not being able to teleport via the seal while a little funny was unfortunate as didn't allow him easy access like the others. You're going to keep me guessing every time I ask a question, aren't you? Rias asked with a small sigh understanding his reasons to a degree, it didn't help her curiosity in any way though. Yes, Naruto smiled at the small twitch of her eyebrow, I wonder how long she can last before she begs me to tell her, guess well just have to wait and see. Might be fun watching her stress when I don't answer. Kukuku. Akano, in her kitchen, for some reason felt a spark that excited her, a fellow sadist was close. She would find him, I wonder how Issei kun is doing, he should have arrived by now, she tapped her hand against the table as the as both felt a pulse of something, someone set up a barrier, it's right where Issei kun is. Naruto sensei. Rias shouted only to see the blonde burst into golden dust to head for the location. TCH, I better get Kiba kun back. Akano, Kaneko are you ready to go? Both girls nodded as Rias created her seal on the ground, please don't be too hurt Issei kun, she didn't want to lose her adorable little pawn so soon after getting him. With Issei though his situation right now was complicated. Firstly he found his summoner dead on arrival with an insane exorcist named Freed, waiting for him with light based weapons, second Asia was there as well, discovered he was a devil, but defended him against Freed after being shot and cut by his light based weapons. Thirdly he was on the ground in pain as the sick twisted excuse of a priest attempted to rape Asia, having already stripped her torso, I need to save her, no matter what I need to help her. Pushing through the pain he struck out and punched Freed right in the face, ouch, that freaking hurt you fucking devil, still it was rather interesting, but now I want to see if I can break the record for the finest human mincemeat, leaping forward for his finishing blow Freed laughed manically before he felt something poke him in the back. You won't even get close to my student anymore freak, Naruto said with a dark look on his face pulling on the spear that was currently lodged into Freed's shoulder he threw him across the room. Naruto sensei, you're here, 
Issei didn't expect his teacher to be here but he was thankful all the same as with the bullet hole in his leg from the light bullet he wasn't moving quickly anymore. She, another devil to cut up, well I don't see a problem with one more head to rest on the wall, sheep of you for using a sneak attack like that Freed pointed at him, almost whining like a child too. Shut up. Naruto clicked his finger as a spike of wood shot from the floor into Freed's knee. What the fuck is this, since when do devils have powers like this? Freed shouted before being backhanded into a wall, you really have it in for me don't you? Is it because I cut that little devil over there or some other guy the first can't remember, well I remember some, usually because of how they screamed but not much else sadly he ha ha ha, Freed laughed as he lied against the wall while the grammary seal appeared and the peerage stepped out, Rias fats to check the injured pawn. Oh great a whole bunch of you are here now, this just sucks now, then again I am hardly alone am I? Bucko, fallen angels are coming, Akano warned Rias as had Kiba help him to his feet. Issei needs healing so we need to get him back as fast as we can, we don't want to or can't fight these angels right now, prepare the seal, she ordered seeing that retreat was best for her servants right now. Wait what about Asia? Issei cried out as Kiba looked to him. The seal will only transport devils Issei, we can't bring her along with us. Kiba explained but Issei with his free hand reached out to the girl on the floor. Asia don't worry Issei, we'll see each other again, she smiled between tears as the peerage made their jump, she then faced the tall blonde in front of her, thank you for protecting Issei-san, I didn't know this was going to happen. Oi bitch don't talk about anything, you'll get in trouble if you do, believe me it'll take joy in making you scream for punishment, Freed cried out as the portal for the angels continued to grow. Do you care for my student, girl? Naruto's tone made her shiver as his blue eyes seemed to glow in the room. Yes, he's my first friend here I don't want him to get hurt again, she felt anything but the truth right now would not end well for her. Very well, take my hand, he kneeled down to her as she placed her little soft hand into his callous ones, the jump will feel odd, she nodded before he prepared to teleport. What do you think you are doing? The fallen angel appeared from the portal and shot forward readying her spear before seeing who was holding her hand but couldn't stop before she was grabbed by the neck. Leaving. All three of them turned to dust as the other fallen angels arrived to the scene, all eyes turned to Freed in the wall with a huge bruise forming on his face now too. Seriously what the fuck was that devil? X break X when Rias and Akano arrived at his home they were surprised to see the girl Asia now in some modest clothing eating some toast by the table, you saved her after all Naruto sensei. Rias was sad at not saving the girl as while Issei was screaming she knew she couldn't take the girl with them. Given the situation, I felt it best to take Asia San in. I plan to figure out why an exorcist was hanging around the city, Naruto said spreading butter on some more toast. Thank you again for this Uzumaki-san, Asia had introduced herself when asked to as they arrived, he in return giving his name but she didn't want to disrespect him so used his last name, not that he would correct her, not to mention he did scare her, a little as he was not crazy like Freed but he was much more imposing, especially since she hadn't known him long like the others. It was nothing, I did what my student would have wanted to. So here she is, Naruto moved to the couch for him with his own toast, I made the space for your circle. Prepare it when you are ready, well deal with the issue in the morning so good night, Naruto moved to the stairs and to his room before hitting a small button on the wall and a floor panel opened up and a large fish bowel with what looked to be a model castle with a mountain, forest and beach, erg I hate dealing with troublesome people after having a moment, I still react strongly to such strong insanity from humans, so disgusting to feel so close again. X break X the next morning for Issei was a rough one, mainly due to his still healing wounds from the night before along with his concern for his new friend, I can't believe I was so weak, I couldn't even protect one girl. I only got saved because of Naruto sensei as well. But like hell does that mean I am giving up on her, quickly getting changed into some a simple purple top and jeans. Issei went to the nearby park to try and do chin ups on the monkey bars, I just need to get stronger. Of course Issei still being injured could barely do 5 chin ups before his left arm gave up having the new scar going from his left shoulder all the way down did hamper his movement a little, his remaining arm not being strong enough to hold him up resulted in him falling on his rear end, maybe, I am just hopeless. Considering your state I would hardly say that Issei, eyes widening Issei whirled round to see Naruto along with a blushing Asia next to him. Asia. You're okay. The girl in question just gave a small nod, you saved her didn't you Naruto sensei? No one else was, anyway this one wanted to see you and I have a meeting to get to, bye. Leaving the two alone Issei looked shyly at Asia who was doing the same. Uh, um, Naruto-san gave me this for you, Asia said offering him an apple, seeing no harm he took a bite, instantly he felt some of his wounds ache a whole lot less than before, are you okay now Issei-san? Yeah, I feel really good now actually, do you want to go do something Asia? 
he asked as a strange sound rumbled from Asia, do you want to go get something to eat maybe? She just nodded meekly having not eaten too much at Naruto's, mainly because she saw the devil girls and she was too worried about her friend to eat. Issei decided to take Asia to a local burger joint but Issei discovered a minor problem. Ow! The odd sound was rather adorable, as Asia looked very confused looked up at the menu above the counter. Do you know what you want to eat Asia-chan? Issei asked oblivious to how sheltered the girl was, then again he was rather excited by her high levels of cute right now so you can't blame him, although seeing her confusion he decided to help her out, shall have the same as me. The employee took the order. Issei smiled to Asia who was poking her index fingers together for not knowing what due to, sorry Issei-san, I didn't mean to hold you up, it's just I've never been to any place like this before. Don't worry about it, I didn't know that this was your first time, collecting the food they took the nearby seats and Issei saw he gain a look of confusion again looking at the paper wrapped burger, see, this is how you eat at Asia-chan, unwrapping his burger he took a healthy bite out of his beefy goodness. Oh I never would you would eat something like that, doing the same Asia took a much smaller bite, one might compare it to a mouse or even a rabbit seeing her small nibble, all the same though the joy on her face was very clear, it's delicious. I know, you also eat the fries like this too, Issei took some of the potatoes enjoying the sparkle in Asia's eyes as she watched him pick up the potato fries and dip them in sauce, her doing the same. This is amazing, to think there is food as good as this, Asia said before her emerald eyes turned up to Issei, I was worried when your teacher Naruto-san saved me, I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. Well I guess Naruto sensei can come off as a little scary, Issei rubbed the back of his head now more aware of how threatening Naruto could indeed be, but had set me right more than once and he did keep you safe when I couldn't. Yeah, he said I could go back to the church when I was ready, she said her eyes a little sad when she said this. Luckily Issei could see that emotion so did what his heart told him, grabbing her hand he gave her a bright grin. Well then princess I think we should go have some fun after this until you are ready to go back. Icha Icha book signings were a lot of the time excessively dull for Naruto, mainly due to how he had to change his appearance every few years under the claim that ownership had changed of the book so there was less suspicion, right now he was fortunate to keep his usual appearance, last time had gone for full beard and mustache combo, changed his hair to sleek black too, it made him look like a count of an old European country or something of the sort. Well then everyone welcome to the annual Ika Ika event. I am Uzumaki Naruto the current writer for the series, as usual there will be a raffle with the special prize being a one on one chat with me over the next edition, along with a sneak peek at Ika Ika Tenshi part 12, Naruto announced via his microphone, the turnout this year was surprisingly a good mix of both males and females. Thankfully, none too young, from there the questions he came to expect came, how did he get his inspiration, how was the previous writer before he took over and of course if they could be used for inspiration. Those got more and more frequent since he changed his writing now and again to sweet the female audience. His mind though was distracted by his thoughts to Asia. He sent her back to the church due to he found the whole situation fishy, especially when it concerns a sacred gear user to be sent from the church to an exorcist like Freed and the fallen angels, as harsh as it was had set up Asia as bait, a necessary evil. But Issei was there so had be the first to know if there was an issue, however Naruto's senses felt a pulse of something inside the room focusing while he continued to answer questions he found the source. What the blue moon is he doing here? Naruto recognized whoever it was and as such knew he was likely here to talk. Luckily he had eyes around the room so could see this person did have a raffle ticket, alright everyone, it's time to announce the raffle winner, the secondary prizes being a golden edition of Icha Icha Harem, and consolations prize being a first priority pre-order for the next book, turning to the raffle tumbler he pulled out a ticket. Number 616, please come forward and well head into the private room for the question session, my assistant will handle the other prizes, please enjoy the rest of the convention, Naruto lead the tall man with black hair and golden bangs along with a small goatee, come to these a lot sir? Not as much as I want, he said as they entered the room with several windows and a table with the rough draft, so how long have you been working on this sequel? Closing the door Naruto placed a seal on the door creating a barrier. What the fuck, are you doing here, Azazel? Naruto recognized the governor general of the fallen angels, the man was one of the most powerful fallen angels whom he knew from his own checker past. Ah well, I sorta wanted to see your book signing and you again Naruto, it had been a few years after all, not since there was you and Ker Klang. Naruto cut him off by shooting a blade into the wall next to his face. Why are you here? You know better than anyone, I don't like any of the factions, I stayed away from all of you for a reason, so explain. Naruto snapped harshly in a demanding tone as he didn't want his old friend's name being said aloud by Azazel, or anyone else from the factions that were currently on his list. Well I see you've become close to the Gremory clan, a bit surprising really I'm Clang. Right, sorry, I am here about the fallen angels that have been about of late, 
They seem to have gone rogue from my orders, Azazel said slowly moving away from the second blade stuck in the wall, he really isn't over it, then again who would be after what we did? Better take any jokes easy, he's not the same as before. What were they supposed to be doing then? Naruto asked making the swords disappear and the wood walls heal over, if Azazel had information he certainly was going to take it and use it when he could. I wanted them to watch the sacred gear user that was resurrected by the Gremory heiress, I am still researching them, so I wanted to see what would happen, when I learned Rainair had killed him I tried contacting them but they have refused any contact, add to that I felt you appear again I guess you would be the best to go to, Naruto nodded as they took their seats on the table. She said you ordered her to kill him, but not contact you so you wouldn't get into trouble but they'd meet up with you and your subordinates soon. Azazel gave him an odd look at this comment, she and an exiled exorcist tried capturing a nun recently, as a result of her trying to attack me again I took her prisoner, after that, interrogation followed. Naruto took note of how Azazel's fists clenched considering Rainer was technically a prisoner of war right now and there was little he could do aside from begging. Damn it! Something is very wrong with this situation as she thinks I gave the order, what of the others? Naruto just shrugged at the man not having seen the others. No idea, but I have a good idea where they are, the abandoned church I believe is their base, it's possible they will be going after the nun with a sacred gear, who happens to be a friend of a Gremory peerage member, Naruto said seeing Azazel's expression not get any better. Clearly he still cared for his fellow fallen angel regardless of what they had done, so what are you going to do about it Azazel? You confronting them won't help them at all. I don't know, the best chance I have it to make a deal with the devil are you, Azazel pleaded with Naruto who looked at his eyes. You'll need to contact one of the Satans, if you agree to leave Rainer as my servant I will spare her, if you don't I give her up to the Gremories to deal with as they wish and given what she did, don't expect much, he watched Azazel grit his teeth, Rainer wouldn't live if Rias had the choice and all things considered Naruto was a better option despite not knowing how he'd deal with her. Alright, keep her alive and don't treat her wrong, I know I don't have a right to as of that though, let her know I am sorry, Naruto nodded to the request at least as Azazel let out a long sigh, before, so can I get a sneak peek at the book now? I forgot how much of a pervert he was, from serious to slightly goofy, I guess it was unlikely he would change in the time since we last met, Naruto shook his head as he pushed the book preview toward the man, this is the man she respects, I should tell her when he's like this. Ruins the respect when you see this side of people. Oh Misako you naughty girl. Just what will you do next? Azazel giggled away as he read the book. I hate that I can't be angry at him now, fucking transference, Naruto thought as he felt his tracking seal go off on Asia. Your ex-soldiers have started, you better be quick to contact the Satans before it's too late Azazel, be seeing you. Naruto teleported out of there the book going with him much to the fallen angel's displeasure. Damn it taken away so soon. Better get Sears X on the line I am sure we can work something out, Azazel left on his own knowing that despite the blonde's state of neutrality things are going to get crazy very soon. X break X arriving back at the clubhouse just a little before Issei as he barged in looking a little rough, bucko. Asia got captured by the fallen angels, we have to help her, Rias looking to the boy gestured him to come over to her. Once she did she gave him a slap to the face, how many times must I tell you, it's not possible. Forget about her, you are a member of the Gremory household. Rias explained while Kiba, Kaneko, in her usual spot, and Naruto watched. Then please kick me out of your household, hearing him Naruto was surprised. Issei's dream essentially was being in Rias' peerage so he could gain a harem, but here he was willing to give it up, it was a lot more mature than many would give him credit for, he'll go save Asia alone. You're asking the impossible, to go on your own will simply lead to your death, she gave Naruto a small look but he was focused on his tea while his other hand was busy, why isn't he offering to help him? Issei is his favorite student. I am just a pawn on the chessboard, right? One pawn isn't much in the end when you lose it, Rias frowned hearing him. Enough Issei. Do you think the pawn is truly the weakest piece? As I explained evil pieces possess traits from their chess counterparts. A pawn's is promotion, if a pawn enters into anywhere that is considered enemy territory it can be promote itself to any other piece aside from the king. Rias explained to Issei a little upset he would think she would send him to be killed just because he was a pawn. So I can have everyone's strength if I go into enemy lines like the church? Issei questioned receiving a nod from Rias, but Akano came over to whisper something into her ear. I have urgent matter to take care of, Naruto sensei can you make sure Issei doesn't get into any trouble and keep an eye on him, Akano and I will be gone for a while, Rias and her best friend made their way out while Issei looked confused. But bucko we haven't finished yet, he stopped when Naruto stood up and walked toward Issei. It is fine Rias, he'll make sure they are safe as possible. They left the room and Naruto turned his attention to Issei, so, you are going after your friend right, Asia? What, 
I mean yes I want to go save her she doesn't deserve to be harmed by those fallen angels, like I said I'll go alone if I have to, with promotion I have a better chance, Issei said knowing his small chances already, being beaten back by that male fallen angel hadn't been pleasant. If that's the case, Kiba, Kaneko I have an activity for the remaining members of the club, help your newest member with his task, I am sure there will be no arguments, right? He turned to the blonde teen and the young girl who was pouting ever so lightly as her petting was cut short. Hi, it'll be coming along. Bucko didn't exactly forbid us from going with you and who am I to deny the request of a campione or a teacher for that matter, I take it you won't be able to help considering where we will be going. Naruto nodded knowing stepping into that church would be him declaring war on the fallen angels. Yes, he'll remain outside to oversee the battle, I expect you all to look out for each other's as friends should, and Issei, consider the information Rias gave you just now, she may not want to hold you back as you expect, there is a certain degree of appearance needing to be maintained for this situation. Issei looked a bit surprised but can't be blamed since he had been slapped and lectured. You're all coming, even you Kaneko-chan? The white-haired girl moved to Naruto's side while nodding. You two going alone would worry me, plus Naruto's going too, I want sweets after, Naruto chuckled at her attempt to get more treats from him, he'd do it but even with her straight face on he knew she would be drooling at getting more sweets from him. Don't worry about that Kaneko, he'll make you something nice afterwards, but Issei, that gear of yours is more than what you think it is, when fighting. Forget what you know about it, let your will to save this girl, guide you, fighting to protect her will give you greater strength to use in this battle, remember that, Naruto said gripping his shoulder and his blue eyes looking deep into his students. Put simply when a person, has something important they want to protect, that's when they can become truly strong, now you head on to the church, he'll meet you there and set up a perimeter okay? Now none of you get hurt as it won't get you off your homework at all. All three nodded and headed out the door, once gone the door opened to reveal Rias and Akano having only transported to the next room. Strong words there, Naruto sensei, Issei kun will be a lot more confident with that pep talk, Rias said as Naruto looked at the three running toward the church. Hell needed, Issei is a diamond in the rough, and pressure is needed to make him stand out, consider this as a way of making him mature a little, although you pulling the small plot of letting him go was rather devious of you, Akano giggled at this. Bucko loves to be dramatic sometimes, especially when her favorite teacher is around to see now, Rias puffed her cheeks at her servant saying this. Akano. Don't say things like that, now prepare a seal so we can handle any extras outside the church. Well see you there, Naruto sensei, she shooed him off making him smile at her slight soon soon moment. Arriving outside the church though he could feel the oppressive sensation from the people inside, it was disgusting really someone who loved to use people was around and in the church, and outside it too, with a devil signature. Another devil, someone is pulling strings, calling for a weapon he drew out a long red spear and threw it in the direction of where the emotions were coming from. The spear seemed to cut into and dissolve a bubble that camouflaged a young looking devil. Who looked quite shocked had been discovered, being a bit out of earshot, Naruto's ears only heard him mutter a few words, oh darn it, I've been found out too early, guess my dear sweet Asia Chan will have to wait, so long stranger. The cocky looking boy started creating a seal but Naruto sent his chains forward to try and catch him, name's Diodora by the way, sorry I can't stay, bye, he vanished before the chains could grab him. At least I got a name. He'll have to see what any of the others know later, better find those two before they kill off the female angels. Naruto quickly took to hopping from the trees like he used to do at one point in his life and found Rias and Akano quickly, both of whom were in the process of talking down to a blonde gothic lolita wearing fallen angel, guess that's middled, but where's Kalawarner? He muttered hoping Issei would handle himself well in his first true fight. X break X the trio broke into the church with Kaneko literally busting the door open, looking round they saw how abandoned and derelict the old church was a clear sign that no true churchgoers went there anymore. My, my, how nostalgic seeing you again devil boy, Freed said at the front near the altar, I never thought there would be a time I met a devil twice, for the obvious reason of course, with me being super strong the treatment he'll give you tends, to be fatal. Reaching into his coat Freed pulled out his light sword and his gun, to be honest though, it's pissing me off. Both you devils and that blonde man are trampling on my pride, in a strange and sick display he made a show of licking his fun, his eyes filled with blood lust. Where is Asia? Issei ignored the mad rambling knowing there was something more important. Oh the trash nun who fell for a filthy devil. Well she's about to go through a fun little ritual underground, the entrance is through the altar actually, not that you'll see her again, cuss you'll be dead ha ha ha, Freed let out a mad chuckle already his mind whirling on how he'd make them bleed, plus once you're done. I am free to go after the blonde and pay him back for the stab wound he gave me too. As Issei armed himself with his sacred gear Kiba drew his sword, however Kaneko reacted fist by throwing a church pew at the man, 
who of course cut it in half only to find several other objects hurtling towards his face. Geez what has you all angry midget? Freed demanded as he ducked under the next pew, which embedded itself into the wall. The dust created from the throne benches concealed Kiba as he jumped high to get a sneak drop slash at Freed. Of course Freed wasn't a former exorcist for nothing as he blocked the attack and shot a barrage of bullets between clashing blades with Kiba. You are good, Kiba commented as their blades grinded against each other. You're not bad yourself. It's really getting in my nerves though, especially with that face of yours. Let me help you adjust it. Freed using his gun tried to get a point blank range shot, which missed due to Kiba's flexibility and thus bent his torso backwards before flipping back to his feet. No thank you I like my face as it is, but I suppose I should get a little more serious, the blade of Kiba's sword turned pitch black and as he and Freed clashed again the light of the sword started to dim. What the? Holy eraser, the sword of darkness that consumes all light, Kiba informed him as Freed's mood turned foul, well fouler. You have a fucking sacred gear too, that's cheating, Freed jumped back, just as his light sword was swallowed up by Kiba's own. Hyodo kun, do it now. Kiba called out and Issei held up his gauntlet and a loud voice calling out boost was heard. Promotion. Issei shouted as he took on the traits of the rook, with the defense of the rook I can take the shots, but the strength makes sure I can take out Freed too, but if Naruto sensei is right I need to keep why I am doing this in my head, for Asia. Rearing back his fist Freed wasn't prepared for the harsh haymaker from Issei that sent him flying across the room, that was for Asia, Freed. Don't screw with me devils. Freed was quick to dodge both Kiba and Kaneko's attacks and hopped on top of the altar, no way am I being killed by a devil, kill you later, throwing a light grenade on the floor the three devils were blinded as Freed made his escape. Damn it he got away, but we need to hurry, Kiba nodded to Issei as Kaneko found the entrance to the ritual room. X break X if any of you were smart you just surrender now you know, Naruto said appearing next to Rias and Akano, of the three it seemed that Donasi gave a visible reaction having been there when Naruto appeared in front of him with Rias. Hey who do you think you are talking to devil, we heard Rainer say something absurd when she came back from killing the boy and now she's gone missing too. Warner said looking very high and mighty as she floated in the air, obviously believing what Rainer spoke of with no clear evidence made it seem ludicrous, Freed had been no help as he was made half to nearly all the time anyway, from what Donasik said he just felt something was off when he took off, but later just put it off to the grammary air being there. Wow they really have no clue who you are Naruto sensei, thinking about it makes me feel sorry for them. Rias said in her noble, confident tone. Era era maybe we should teach them a lesson together Naruto sensei? Akano said as she raised her hand creating a barrier around the area and Naruto snapping his fingers subtly using his blessing of Kagaya authority to make the trees grow and enclose them in a dome. No let them act first, but try not to kill them, itd make too much of a mess for the people who have to clean, oh and to you fallen angels, Rainer sent her regards. Naruto pulled out some black feathers from his jacket pocket and let them fall to the floor. What? What did you do to Rainer Sama? Middle asked a little frantic. Now that would be telling, and Naruto sensei doesn't give straight answer sometimes. Rias could only smirk as someone else got the treatment that she quickly found annoying. The three fallen angels now looked angrily at the blonde for the audacity of probably killing their ally. Very true, still ill only be happy to do the same if you ask nicely. Naruto's grin turned feral as the black gauntlet appeared on his left hand. Choice is yours. Surrender or face a lot worse. You dare. Naruto hopped into the air as Donasik swung at him with his own light spear but Naruto grabbed his wrist and snapped it with on move but his left hand stole the light spear and twirled it a little as the blue light based weapon turned scarlet. Yeah I dare and thanks for attacking me first, makes it so much easier when I haven't armed myself, Naruto said as Donasik coughed up blood from his own spear being thrust into his heart, she wasn't lying by the way, I am a god killer, you should have listened. You might have lived a little longer, taking the blade out he spanned the spear in his hand before bisecting the fallen angel. So brutal, Akano said looking on with her heart pumping with excitement, her own hands sparkled with electricity, which she brought down on Kalawarner as she tried to attack Naruto's back, Rias was in the meantime throwing fireballs at middle since she was thrown off her game by the death of the male fallen angel. Ah, don't think this means anything, the plan for Bartleby will finish the ritual and gain the gear for us, Kalawarner cried out after being shocked and forming up with middle. You forget that my peerage is on their way to save that girl. Your plan isn't perfect, Rias said as she created a much larger fireball, she was skilled in a bit of magic and with Naruto here she needn't resort to her power of destruction. That pawn won't win against Bartleby, he's as good as dead, Middle shouted as she found herself and Kalawarner bound up in chains. You underestimate my student, he has something important to do, he has more strength than even he knows, now why don't you just stay where you are while we wait for them, that and I need you both alive, 
Rias and Akano looked a bit confused but Naruto turned back to them, if you want you are free to punish them for attack an heir to a noble house, just don't kill them. Era era how kind of you Naruto sensei, I suppose I can punish them a little for attacking Bucko and you as well, may I Bucko? Rias just nodded as Akano began to indulge in her hobby. The two were lit up like decorations as Naruto turned to Rias looking a little worried, have faith in him, he was worried for Issei since there truly wasn't a guarantee that Issei would get to Asia before the fallen angel extracted the gear from her. I do, but I am worried they won't make it, Rias knew the facts, with freed and likely a bunch of humans in their way the girl Asia might indeed die. Memory serves me that you have a few pieces left, think on that, Naruto enjoyed the look of Rias epiphany. X break X Asia. Issei shouted seeing the girl being restrained against a large crucifix with a fallen angel wearing black pants, open top shirt and grey jacket, his wings out behind him. Welcome to the ceremony devil boy, looks like that idiot priest ran off, he'll drop him from the skyline later, my name is Bartleby if you might have been curious but I know you not here for me. Bartleby reached and grabbed Asia's chin harshly making her cry out in pain, you're here for this one aren't you? Let her go, Issei said while he, Kiba and Kaneko stood in front of several masked men likely human who sided with the fallen angels, all armed with light swords. Well I can't do that, you see she has something we want, this thing she's tied to here, it going to give me her sacred gear, Kiba gasped hearing this while Kaneko frowned. Hiyodo kun, we can't let him do that, if a sacred gear is extracted from its chosen it will kill them. Issei clenched his hand harder hearing this, not helped as Bartleby's expression turned a lot darker, much like Freed's. Like you'll well give you a chance, boys take care of the trash while I get my prize, the crucifix lit up and Asia started screaming as she felt her entire being strained before a green light started glow in her chest. Stop it, all three devils charged forward through the humans knocking them down as they go but there were simply too many to get through and by the time they got to the stairs leading to the ritual center Asia's eyes lost their light and the two rings appeared from her chest and into Bartleby's hands. You're too slow and no ill take these for myself. Placing the rings into himself he felt the pure power of the gear fill him, yes, this is what I wanted, it's a good thing Rainer isn't here anymore, shed have got this instead of me, here devil boy you can take what's left, releasing the chains keeping Asia up he threw the small girl by her small white dress, which ripped from his harsh throw. Issei was quick to catch the girl and keep her from harm, Asia, speak to me, he said panicked, as Asia was now very short of breath her heartbeat growing slower, Asia open your eyes, we came to rescue you. Issei-san, I am glad, she said her eyes shaking from the effort to keep them opened in her weakened state. Enjoy the last moments, you are lucky to have them again, after all when Rainer was sent to kill you we had a lot of fun laughing at how you reacted like a puppy when she showed signs that she would frown with you, it was pathetic really someone with such lust like you acting so sweet, almost made me puke, then again all you human tend to do that anyway, Bartleby floated in the air as he created a large light spear. Human got the gifts of the sacred gears but also got the gift of choice we never got. Some might have fallen for lust I did it because of how sick I was of his mistake with all of you. I mean look at that girl, praised as a saint only to be condemned as a witch because she healed someone, humans are horrible, they so don't need to exist plus with no humans there will eventually be no devil so it's a win-win, so just die for me together want you. Bartleby threw his spear down at the pair while Kaneko and Kiba dealt with the human with their weapons not hearing the fallen angel. She didn't deserve this, Issei said, as his left hand rose the gear glowing, all I want to do is protect her, I don't care what happens but I need power, please sacred gear lend me the power to kick the bastard's ass, Issei felt a jolt of power and saw the spear cut down by Kiba's holy eraser. Hiyodo kun, get out of here, leave this to us and go, Kiba blocked several swords while Kaneko was beating them down using one goon shed grabbed by the ankle. Kiba, Kaneko chan, it'll make you call me by my name, because we are friends, Issei ran to the church hall and set Asia down, Asia, please hang in there, we are going to be friends forever, I still have so many place I wanted to take you, Asia smiled as she reached with one hand to grasp Issei's. I was, so happy to make a friend, even for just a little while, but Issei, I wish I had been born in this country, maybe we could have been friends sooner, but, with the time we had, I can, smile, Asia said before her eyes closed and her breath stopped. No, no, this can't happen, don't take her from me don't let her die she didn't deserve this, she was an innocent, Issei cried as tears streamed down his face, why couldn't I save you, Asia? Because you are still weak, Bartleby said with an amused grin, floating in the air, besides you'll join her soon enough so just accept death and embrace her in the afterlife devil boy. The fallen angel charged while the world seemed to slow for Issei. Kozo, will you accept death or fight for the girl? You have strength but can you reach for more than you ever would imagine? A voice said in Issei's head, which rumbled like it was in a deep cave. 
If it's power ill take it, anything for her I need this power, if I was too weak to save her I want the power to avenge her, I want to be strong so this wouldn't happen, I want power, give me this power. Issei screamed not knowing he was talking in his mind as the gauntlet glowed ever stronger than before and a beam shot off knocking Bartleby away. What, I thought that thing was just twice critical, where the hell did that power come from? He healed the minor burns he sustained from the blast. It doesn't matter, because of you I can't take Asia to the amusement park, show her to my friends, let her be happy all because for you, no more, you are going down, and it'll be the one to show you how I am not weak, I have something important to protect still and that is her happiness. The gauntlet extended up Issei's arm and also covered his fingers. Boost. His wings sprouted from his back and Issei took flight catching the fallen angel off guard as he landed the strongest punch he could into his face creating a shockwave from the force that shattered the windows and letting the fallen angel fly out of said broken window. Hey, take that. Issei quickly fell as he had in no way mastered the art of flight, let alone falling with style. Landed on his back was not pleasant but he still smiled behind his tears only to look up and see Kiba, what took you so long? Sorry, I was given order not to interfere, still very impressive to see you take down a fallen angel, Kiba helped Issei back to his feet, Bucko ordered me not to interfere as it wouldn't be right. Bucko? Looking to the side Issei saw Akano and Rias leaning against the wall. I felt it fair that you beat him but I am afraid he's not finished yet, so pick up your friend there, Issei-kun, that angel is about to get what he deserves outside, the boy nodded and followed the president with Asia carried bridal style out to the door where they saw Naruto with two fallen angel girls chained up and Bartleby on his back with Naruto's foot on his neck. Naruto sensei was here too. Rias nodded to Issei's question but held up her finger for him to be quiet. So you ready to die like the scum you were Bartleby and join your friends or wanna let me have some fun before I kill you, Naruto said pushing down a bit harder on his neck. Fuck you. He spat up blood at Naruto but he caught it with his hand anyway. You're not my type. Anyway why did you steal the sacred gear? He interrogated the man under his foot. We did it under orders, we needed the power and she was easy to manipulate to our needs, I am not giving it up until you kill me. Glaring at Naruto he didn't know what was about to happen as he snapped his fingers creating a portal next to him, out of it came Azazel, Sears X and Rainer who was in a very exposing kimono but she didn't look pleased with herself. As promised, evidence that someone was pulling strings, the two men nodded while the others looked shocked at the powerful leader of the factions. I never wanted this Bartleby, you went against my orders when you conspired to kill the boy and this girl, for this I can't forgive you, goodbye my old friend, Rainer, do your duty, the girl nodded meekly as she drew a light spear. What you're letting her deal my execution, what a joke she won't be ab grrk, Naruto stopped his talking, as Rainer got close. Do it, yes, master, she plunged the spear directly into Bartleby's head. All struggling ceased when the light pierced his head and his body faded, it is done. Plucking the light left behind he tossed it to Rias, I think those belong to someone, why don't you wake up the girl? What? Bucko what does he mean? Issei asked not sure what to say of what just happened. He means that Asia Chan can live again, don't forget how I brought you back Issei-kun, you fought hard so I think your efforts will be rewarded by me reincarnating this nun as a devil, as my new bishop. Issei felt a smile come to his face hearing that Asia would have a new life. Laying her down Rias placed the chess piece on Asia chess as she began to chant, I Rias Grammary, command by my name, to thee, Asia Argento, to allow thy soul to descend to this earth once more, to become my devil slave, as your new master, I grant you with a new life. The chess pieces sank into her skin and her gear glowed for a moment. From there Asia's eyes started to flutter, shall make a fine addition to my peerage but ill leave her in your care Issei Kun, make sure to show her the ropes. Issei nodded but was quick to hug the small Asia to his chest very thankful she was back. Onisama, why are you here with him? Rias questioned as Sirzex stood next to the still chained fallen angels. Recently Azazel was informed of some subterfuge within his ranks and those seeking to go rogue, in return for not killing them a deal was made, those that had attacked the heir of the Gremory would be banished from the ranks of the fallen angels and condemned to a life as devils, the one who attacked Naruto would forever be in his service, as a result Ajuka had these pieces made for you. Lifting his hand Sirzex revealed two pawn pieces. Take good care of them Gramori san they are you problem now, Sirzex, Naruto, take care, Azazel left without another word leaving the two angels to look horrified at what was about to happen. You two have only yourselves to blame, considering your friend gave us your names, death would be too easy for you both, but you need to learn the cost of your actions, Ria Tan your new pieces are ready. Sirzex sadly fell into his slightly bro contone at the end making a few sweat drop. When you're done here, meet me back at my home Rias, I will explain this all to you, Rainer, come, we'll show you your new room, 
The black-haired fallen angel looked to her friends in sadness knowing their fate but wasn't sure who was worse off, servitude to devils or servitude to a god killer, only time would tell. X break X Rainer, you can calm down, you're under my care now, you are no longer my prisoner, Naruto said as he turned to his kitchen, he had been rough in his interrogation and he had taken out some anger out on the girl, nothing too bad, but it had shaken her up a bit. I know, thank you for sparing me, with everything you said I know it was difficult, Will, will I have to apologize to Issei-san? Rainer asked taking her seat at the table. I think you should, all things considered, the way you went around trying to kill him was cruel, it's only lucky he found Asia, the sweet girl might be godsend for him in the end, might curve his libido, his parents will love her too, if Rias makes her stay with him, Naruto cracked some eggs while he turned on his rice cooker. It seemed the best idea, looking back after seeing how he behaved it was a different kind of behavior from his usual just when we observed it, will Kalawarner and Middle be staying here too? She asked worried for her friends. Unlikely, Rias won't want them too near me, at least to start plus she might have them stay with Issei, hell show them the kindness of a human turned devil, he's led by his heart, hopefully it'll work its magic with those two. Naruto continued to cook before the seal in the room lit you and Rias, Akano, Kaneko and her new servants appeared. Sniff, you've been cooking while I wasn't around again, haven't you Naruto sensei? Akano asked a little miffed, but she was still experiencing the memory of Naruto's powerful behavior. Felt it best considering the night we all had, Asia anything you want to eat that I can make for you? Naruto asked no longer needing to use the girl as bait to oust the rogue fallen angels. Anyo, see could I have hamburgers please? She asked shuffling her feet a little as she sat next to Rainer who offered a small bow of apology with her head. Of course, you two all right with that? Both Kalawarner not knowing how to react just nodded as the man who practically caused them to become devils, but avoid death seemed to be acting a bit gentle with them. How did you get in contact with the leader of the fallen angels Naruto sensei? Rias asked as Kaneko walked into the kitchen and was quick to grab the treat of Daifuku Naruto had taken out for her. A chance meeting if I am honest for most part but I have met with the man before. Telling him what I had seen and had learned from Rainer he was quick to go along with my offer to save a few of the rogues, Bartleby was just someone who was risking going too far, needing the meat patties Naruto places some oil and onions into his pan, I explained he should contact the Satan so he could come to a bargain, as a result less blood was shed, and Kiba and Kaneko-chan took down the humans thankfully, Issei has awakened his power as well, his Longinus right. Yes, you are good to know the boosted gear when you see it, the red Welsh dragon Diedrig is sealed within it. I let him rest after Kiba-kun got him home, but why did you get these two angels to become my servants, surely it would have been easier if we had killed them? Rias asked knowing the two angels felt the same, being turned into a devil and by the deal made by their leader was much worse than dying by their hands. Because it was cruel, but a necessary cruelty, consider the ongoing truce between the three factions. Now consider how the events starting from Rainer attacking Issei. By luck you brought him back and brought him into the conflict. When Kalawarner attacked him it could be seen as an attack on the devils and spark a war if some alternate party seeks it. Naruto continued to season the meat slightly, wars are horrible, despite my own distancing from the three the fact is I am involved and many would perceive I side with the devils already, however the true reason for my act was to try and expose the puppet master, tonight's events are highly likely the end result of this alternate party acting up, ill need time to gather evidence to expose them as if I approach the suspect it won't end well. So you wanted to save some of those involved but still punishing them, but what happens now then Naruto sensei? Akano questioned poking her head in the door of the kitchen, she wanted to get any cooking tips by just looking. Essentially those two need to be adjusted to human life. Aside from that just live your lives as usual, I have no control of you. But I will be getting Rainer more acquainted with how things change for her being essentially a ward of a campione. Training her will come later as well as many will seek to come after her now. Naruto finished the meals and served all of his guests with ease and the angels, plus Asia were amazed at the taste sensations they got on their first bite. Asia's expression was so joyful it was like an adorable puppy given a treat, Kalawarner and Middle were not far behind having not gotten anything like this and cursed at how such a man beat them but treated them so well. The discussion of where everyone will be living can be done tomorrow, Rias do you mind if Asia sand bunks with you tonight since the other room will be fine for Rainer and her fellow angels to talk about all this. Rias nodded while munching on her tasty burger. Rainer lay in her bed after speaking with her fellow fallen angels, although technically they were now half devil except for her, to think she was a ward of a campione, one of the few left remaining in the world, she remembered long ago when she was still in the white city and heard tales of those who could stand up to gods who were once mere mortals. It seemed impossible to do as few even had sacred gears of Longinus level to help them, but then she had been given her orders to attack Issei and she came face to face with one, Naruto. 
the gentle teacher who was infinitely more complicated than a simple glance would give you. After she came to help that creepy exorcist she found herself held by the neck by the blonde and whisked away as the fear of his gaze hit her, she blacked out but when she woke up she had ended up somewhere rather impossible. X flashback start X cough, cough, W where am I? Rainier asked feeling sand on his skin while coughing a bit of it up, looking up she saw a beach complete with oceans stretching out in front of her, what happened? The last thing I remember was. Was you being caught by me when you tried to attack me, again, normally your life would be forfeit, but I find myself curious as well as annoyed by you, Naruto's voice said in a cold tone as her head whirled around and she readied her wings to take flight but found them restrained in chains, you're not going anywhere, as of now you are a prisoner of war and you are going to tell me why you killed my students and why you are after that girl. Let me go. Naruto's response was to backhand her back to the sand, I said let me go. I've done nothing wrong aside from follow orders, I don't need to explain myself to you. Rainer hoped to bide her time for her allies to find her and save her. Don't even try to stall your allies don't know where you are and right now they will never find you. This place is my world to control and it's cut off from the outside, so tell me what I want to know before this gets worse, Naruto said standing over said as he snapped his fingers causing the water to wrap around her limbs and get her on her knees. Is this going to be easy or hard? I don't care if it's hard, your kind make things difficult anyway. Rainer gave him a look of shock. She had heard rumors of the Campioni who was to be avoided at all times. What did fallen angels do to you? Naruto's eyes glowed with anger as he gripped her neck. Your kind is part of the reason why I left the war of the three factions. Your kind made me kill people I called friends, your kind are all selfish creatures who turned their backs on your lord without trying to compromise. Not that the angels were any better. Honestly your biblical figures really are pathetic, and you know what, I am half tempted to kill you now and drag your body to your friend and show them why I should be feared, to make you remember why I killed a number of you for corrupting my friends and making them try to kill me for my power, the water around them swirled around as if in a storm, clouds forming as well. HH how long ago was that, I've only heard rumors of the Campioni, most of us thought them to be a myth from long ago, Rainer said her entire core shaking, right now she stood before someone who fought and bested gods, the presence alone was greater than her leader or from before she fell. I imagine having me as a myth is easier, long ago I wasn't the only one of us. But I see no reason to tell that story, no, you see. Your kind manipulated the organization of humans who helped me find heretic gods to deal with. But at one point they tried to kill me to take my power. Spurred on by the words of fallen angels, they saw no reason so I killed them as somehow they got their hands on dangerous items that in their crazed minds could kill millions. Naruto waved his hand to calm the storm, but keep Rainer restrained not wanting his temper to disrupt his paradise, sadly it cost me my brother in all but blood, but you are not my prisoner to just to hear about me, the water restraining Rainer pulled her up and made her walk forward. What do you want me to say, I was given orders to kill Hyodo, and when we heard about that nun coming to us, we received another order to take her down to take her sacred gear, Bartleby is heading that operation as he and, Loki were sent to us from our leader to help us as there were devils in the area. Rainer said knowing that while she could keep her mouth shut, her instincts told her that this man would pull each and every truth piece by piece and likely painfully if she lied. Azazel is your leader correct? Naruto said seeing feeling her emotional state switch to fear for a moment, deep empathy was still useful for telling lies, I am aware of who the leaders of each faction are, even more so after recent events, but I want to know why Azazel would risk the truce to kill Issei even if you don't know what gear he has, his orders make no sense with what I remember of that stupid man. Azazel Sama isn't stupid, don't bad mouth him. Rainer shouted, not liking her leader being insulted behind his back. Of course, her outburst had the water reach around her neck and tighten like a noose. Ill speak however I wish, especially about that idiot, I've bested him with nothing but a book. He's a shameless pervert who, while strong, is too blind to see when people go behind his back to betray him and cause others problems, Naruto said, shutting the girl up and leading her to the castle in his little world. The castle looked like a home of a great king and upon entering Rainer saw several clones of Naruto but each one bearing different eye colors and hair as well as gender. Kagaya, take this one to a spare room, she's our prisoner for the moment, treat her as such, Naruto said as a long green haired female clone came along wearing a simple maid uniform. Of course master, will you be requiring anything else? The clone asked using a term it had taken centuries for Naruto to grow into. Just have Maka bring me something to eat, ill feeling drained today. Naruto said leaving the two women, well one and a clone. Ill have Mai come to ease your tension in your back then master, Naruto gave a lackluster wave as he walked away and the clone then turned to Rainer giving her a glare. The water restraints now changing to ice shackles, follow me and don't fall behind. After walking through several corridors Rainer turned to the clone, not that she knew that's what it was, 
W. Why do all of the servants look like that guy? You'll address master with respect, we were once copies but he gave us life and will in this world, he let us change our appearance and in return we look after him in his darker moment which someone like you does not help. Kagaya's sharp reply made Rainer actually flinch as she felt this woman's aura flare and it far surpassed her own. Kagaya showed her the surprisingly nice room, but slammed the door closed on her leaving her on her own, she instructed two guards to in the door while activating the seals for the room so they'd know if she tried anything, Matsu needed someone to peep on after all, strange girl that she was. With Naruto though, he was in his personal room with my using old chakra techniques to ease his tense muscles, you did well not to go too far master, I know we don't deal with fallen well. I am being reminded of those days, I've been drawn into the war of the three again, what should I do my, do I keep her prisoner or do I make a deal? Both have useful points, but I hate the fact I am likely to go with the latter, Naruto said flinching a bit as Mai went over a sore spot. You always have the choice master, before the fallout you had given all of us life, even Kurama-sama was surprised you changed all your clones into living beings, managed to make us a home to live out our existence, we are your second family who will support you in whatever decision you make be it for one reason or the other, Naruto sighed looking at the long-haired brunette. Even if I feel aiding the devils like Rias is a betrayal of their memories as I feel myself growing closer? That's not for me to say master, I am not you but Lady Uzumaki would want you to be happy, Lord Scales would want you to be happy too, next time you saw him. Mai said recalling the other friend her master had for some time but rarely went to see. I suppose, we'll see how she behaves and what she can tell us, I have the signing tomorrow too, hopefully it will go without much trouble this time, then I'll try and contact one of them to discuss what to do, Naruto said with Mai letting out small sigh fully aware her master's anger to the factions would wane in time but even after many years some wounds had not stopped bleeding. The heart is a delicate piece of a person after all. X flashback and X. I don't fully know what happened that night but he wasn't too harsh next time he saw me but I was restrained with shackles and his maids washed and fed me for the time being, it wasn't until he had met with Azazel Sama and returned to explain I saw how we had been used and I, I felt regret that I had caused him trouble, but Azazel Sama came to visit me, her former leader had visited Rainer before the incident at the church occurred. He explained who it was the Grigori had taken from Naruto and why he was so hostile with me and others. I am not allowed to explain though as mentioning it nearly got Azazel Sama injured during their initial meeting, both Middleton and Kalawarner looked stunned at what they heard even if they didn't know what or why Naruto had changed his tune to at least be civil it was shocking how their friend accepted her new role, they did feel it was because she knew more now than before. Well at least you don't have it too rough, we're stuck as half devils now, I am going to end up punching that gaki though, kept staring at my chest almost drooling, Kalawarner said crossing her arms under her bust. Well it's not like your outfit helps Kala you are practically popping out of it, I just hate how there's someone crashing in on my style already in this peerage we're stuck in, having Kaneko as the mascot cute lowly was annoying, and it wasn't going to get any easier. Ah that reminds me, one of his servants keeps him observed for safety, don't even insult the white haired girl in front of Naruto, he's close friends with her and we all know how he reacts now, all three shuddered recalling his aura, the other two just from when he killed their comrade in two moves. Easy enough, so what else have you learned about that man? Middleton asked curious over the man. He's complicated but I think he is kind at his core, we all will see who Naruto is as we all adjust to this life now, but let's get some sleep you have your peerage introductions tomorrow and I have to train with Grammarie and the pervert, Rainer said with all three nodding and getting very comfy in their beds, better than heaven they might have joked. X break X beep, 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 erg, too early, the sun is more irritating than before too. Shish. Let me sleep evidently, even fallen angels with the power of light, were not morning people, admittedly it was only 4 in the morning and breakfast was on its way, but clones of Naruto were standing above each of the girls with a glass of iced water in hand, they felt no remorse pouring it over them, eliciting shrieks of different pitches. Up you three, food is ready, the clone said in a way too cheerful voice for the now soaked girls now, hit me and no food. Rainer was first to get groggily onto her feet and got in the ensuite shower to wash up using the shower gel over her still generous form. Sai I'll have to shrink my sizes down again, or do I leave them since no one remembers anyway. As her sisters joined her as it was a large shower and skin ships wasn't ever an issue between them. Damn, these uniforms are terrible if you have a bust, Cal Warner said after getting dressed and seeing the uniform on a hanger, oddly next to a tracksuit with a note on it as it had one for Middleton Rainer, your new training gear, oh goody. Well I bet they're our size at least. May as well get them on then. Middled after putting her underwear on slipped the dark magenta tracksuit on while Kalawarner had navy and Rainer had purple, heading downstairs they found almost all of their new peerage aside from the pervert. Grab a seat, it's eggs, bacon, 
hash browns and figure cereal before we start, you'll need the energy trust me, Naruto said serving Kaneko some pancakes with sweet syrup which she happily started to devour at a brisk pace. Nice to see you up and awake, we'll be picking up Issei after you finish breakfast, Asia Chan won't join us today, but she will eventually, Ria said in her own tracksuit eating her own pancakes with chocolate chips, Akino was sticking to simple blueberries this morning and with an almost pout as she still had been unable to catch Naruto before he started to cook. It was amusing to see the sadistic queen get one upped again and again by their teacher, fair enough, but I take it we're staying here from now on, right? Middle said pouring her milk to her cereal. Maybe, maybe not I haven't decided as I know Isei-kun does have room in his house or will do by the end of the day. She sent a knowing look to Naruto who said he could extend their house in no time at all but you'll both have to be prepared for school as well and maintain a good image as part of the occult research club and not cause too much trouble, Akano and or Naruto sensei will be in charge of punishment if I hear anything, the almost pout was quickly replaced with a rather alluring grin on Akano. With that look on her face and after last night I don't know who would be worse, both half devils wondered to themselves seeing the girl's expression. When all the plates were clear they exited the house with Naruto having changed into a black and white tracksuit and let Rias get on her bike before handing Rainer and the other two some sweatbands. Walking over to their neighbor's house they saw the scruffy haired boy in the top window, no doubt having just woken up from whatever dream it may have been, they didn't have to wait long until he came out the front door and saw the beauties in front of him but his eyes were drawn to Rainer who looked surprisingly nervous. H hey there Hyodo san apologizing to someone you killed and emotionally manipulated is very difficult but the man she now represented placed his hand on her shoulder to ease her nerves i want to apologize for what i did to you and for the trouble i caused you please forgive me rainer gave an honest bow to the boy who was shocked by this but was quick to reply um all right then i guess i mean it still hurts and all but you helped us out in the end taking that guy out and asia is safe now too so i guess it's okay rainer let out a breath as was about to extend her hand out until she saw his face but I wouldn't mind having a feel of you as apology for what you did as you kept teasing me with your holy opai. Issei. Both Rias and Naruto said in unison making the boy jump forgetting his teacher was there for a moment. The opai was strong this morning and distracted him, Issei you were here to train this morning now start running, you too as well, Rias ordered her peerage, all of who nodded and took pace while a feeble Issei started his own run. One moment Rainer, you need this first creating a hand seal Rainare's sweatbands glowed blue before they felt like someone had dipped her arms in wet cement that had hardened into concrete blocks, you get my training so you have gravity seals at double earth's gravity affecting your limbs right now, now you can jog, but don't fall behind Issei. That's her training. The three pawns thought glad they didn't have Naruto as their instructor, even Rias was surprised but for another reason. As Rias rode alongside a gently jogging Naruto she decided to ask her question on the bands, how easily can you make those bands Naruto sensei? With little trouble, if curious I can make it so a full body tracksuit does the exact same but with the seals only I control them as they need a particular power source to energize them, different from your magic, you want some for all your peerage now I take it. Yes, I can see the merit of pushing my cute servants a little but probably to a less degree, 1, 5 times gravity should be fine for them, 1, 2 for Issei, she whispered the last part making both chuckle a little, thankfully Issei was once again distracted, by the bouncing orbs right in front of him. Warners had a nice jiggle to her rear end and Milt had a cute butt. It's sad knowing he could be so much fitter, but the exercise plans I offered for P, E were deemed too extreme, the medicine balls wouldn't have been too bad, Naruto said making Rias smile at his possible truth and possible joke, she was happy to have him this morning and how smoothly it was already going. When they got to the park she got Warner to help stretch him out despite the two items on Warner's chest that would make his mind wander. Middelt and Rainer did the same but the latter was having a tougher time with her weighted arms. Alright everyone start your push-ups I want at least a hundred from each of you, Rias ordered with Naruto giving a nod in agreement and with a groan she started. Gur, Issei sadly probably had it worse as Naruto pushed his leg down on his back, why? Issei, there a reason you need to get fit in both body and mind, and I believe Naruto sensei is just doing that to make you push yourself, Rias suggested as Issei struggled on his eleventh push-up. That and if you sat on his back head never make it to 20, when do you think our guest should be arriving Rias? Naruto turned his head to the student who looked round trying to spot someone. I think it should be around now, I hope she didn't get lost on the way, as she spoke they spotted the adorable Asia running toward them holding a small basket in her arm. Issei-san, Bushu-san, Naruto-san I truly apologize for being late Kya. Asia sadly, being a bit huge klutz as she fell on her face it resulted in a few sweat drops from the girls and the standing teacher before he pushed down more flooring Issei and making his face have a date with the floor, why must I always fall down so easily? 
She asked the heavens are just the people around her at the moment. What the heck did she even trip on? Middled asked to no one in particular. After allowing Issei to stand up, said teen made his way over to the bench where Asia took out a small thermos for him. Here you go Issei-san. Asia handed the teen cup of tea to hopefully put some life back in his body. Oh I brought the other thermos like you asked Naruto-sensei. The blonde former nun handed her soon-to-be teacher an orange flask. Good job Asia-chan, I can only imagine you. Be a great addition to my classes being so behaved and well-mannered. Naruto praised the girl seeing how the girl had essentially been abandoned by those she looked up to as a result of some puppeteers and the dregs of humanity. Asia being unaware of Naruto's pessimistic view of humans in general just enjoyed the head petting she received as well as the kind words, hear you three. Naruto tossed the thermos to Rainer who unsealed the lid and smelled the heavenly tea smell, enjoy your break you have earned it for today's warm-up session, you especially Rainer, you seem to be coping with your weights at a manageable level, the other students won't notice them when you wear them at school and looking at your movements we can pass it off as shyness. He's having her work out with those ways at school, I'd hate to think what he and Akino could come up with, then again knowing her shed just have it done to herself, Rias thought of her likely giggling queen as she watched Asia and Issei talk and act very close, the sight didn't bother her it just brought up an issue she knew was going to be a problem very soon in the future, her thoughts were interrupted by a nudge from Naruto. Whatever's bothering you, we'll talk later, wa? Rias asked but Naruto held up his hand to her. Remember who I am, I can read people still despite my emotions getting high now and again, just come and see me later okay? Rias nodded feeling relieved with her teacher there. Thinking about it Naruto inclusion into the orc would help counsel some of her and her peerage's problems, herself, Akino, Kiba and Kaneko's pasts might need someone to talk to with someone they can trust and do respect, even more so now. Her thoughts continued as Naruto had Issei do more push-ups after his rest, although he made Midelt sit on his back this time and telling him any dirty facial movement would mean 50 pull-ups on the nearby monkey bars apiece, he was dead on his arms and legs after one minute. So, wheeze. Why is Asia Chan here? Issei while getting a quick heal from Asia asked with feeling coming back to his arms at last. We asked her to come along. Rias pointed to herself and Naruto but Asia decided to take over. Yes, Bushu-san and Naruto-sensei said I could help with your training but all I could do was make you some tea and bring the ready-made one Naruto-san asked me to bring. Asia blushed at not being able to do more, especially seeing how Naruto had made one already before she even woke up that morning. Which I thank you for bringing to me and my new students Asia-chan, I am sure they appreciated you for bringing it for their small rest, right? Naruto looked to the three additions of the group who were breathing hard on their backs from the workout. Right, was the weary reply of them. Yes, but Asia is here to help sort out her new living arrangement as Naruto-sensei is already allowing myself and others to stay along with his own new charge, so you and her will be heading to her new house today, Rias said getting questionable looks from the fallen and Issei. Where's that? Why your house of course, Issei, where she and these two will be staying, there was a small pause after Naruto added that before a loud pair of voices expressed their distress. What, X break X you can't be serious, living with him, Middle pointed to Issei in frustration of seeing all her stuff, which no doubt Azazel dropped off hers and Calawarners too, I mean we watched him before Rainer did her thing, are there locks on the door? I am not that bad, the doom and gloom cloud descended on Issei as he curled up, Asia did rub his back a bit to try and ease the pain. My team finished work while we were out, Issei's parents won't see anything different but you will have your own rooms, with locks, Naruto said getting a nod of agreement from Middelt, anyway let's head in to discuss the new exchange student program I have for you three. I look forward to having a harmonious living experience with your Issei-san, I asked to live with you when Bukko-san asked where I wanted to live, Asia said with a bow and nearly brought the teen male to tears of joy, which thankfully stopped as Naruto knocked on the door. Ah Uzumaki-sensei. You are here to talk about the exchange students, where are the boys? Issei's mother asked before seeing the three girls. Ah I did explain that the students would be females didn't I? Naruto chuckled rubbing the back of his head, once inside Issei's father and mother looked shocked at the beauties in front of them. A Asia san was your name right? Issei's father asked slack jawed at the cute girls around his son the embodiment of male lust in teens. Yes, Odo san, but pee perhaps a different house might be more suitable for a foreign exchange student let alone three, are you sure this is the best choice of house Uzumaki sensei? Naruto just smiled drinking his tea and letting himself chuckle internally having gotten to know Issei's parents their response was to be expected. Well considering we live so close and Issei is a descent student to a degree I thought your big house would be a perfect place for these two, but little Asia Chan here has different reasons for choosing your son, Naruto explained which the two angels next to him both internally grumbling it seemed, no weight middle was still pouting. Issei-san is my savior, 
He helped me out the most since I moved here to Japan, so I knew I would be at ease as long as it was under the same roof as Issei-san. Asia stated a little bashfully considering her crush's parents were right in front of her so did want to make a good impression. Well after you saying that we can hardly say no, we do have three spare rooms after all, plus if Uzumaki-sensei is suggesting that this is the best place out of others we can't dispute his high opinion of us, but you must be aware that we have a son with an unusually high libido living here, Issei's father stated before his wife chimed in with agreement. I am right here you know, it's bad enough talking about your son like that but when I am right in front of you as well, Issei's cloud returned to his head as his character had been insulted twice, even if both times there were portions of truth. Ignoring Issei's moment Naruto decided to add more fuel to the fire for Issei's sake, well you can teach little Asia Chan to be a good wife for you son since she seems to attach to him and doesn't seem to mind his habits, Naruto said getting a heavy blush from Asia and tears of joy from Issei's parents. A wife? Oh darling the day has come here a sweet dumb girl had come to marry our no good pervert of a son. Issei's mother said as said teen boy slipped further into his own doom cloud. Wow even his parents know he's a pervert, least they errant in denial or something, Kala Warner muttered to no one in general watching the teen's parents cry, saying how their son, was so unworthy of such a cute girl. Nearly made her feel sorry for the boy, nearly, Odo-san, Okawa-san, Issei-san is anything, but unworthy, Asia's final words sealed the deal for the Hyodo parents as they turned back to Naruto. Well only be too happy to take in Asia-san, Uzumaki sensei, I only hope Issei doesn't bother the other exchange students as well during their stay with us, Issei's mother said moving to clasp young Asia's hands making sure she was actually there and not an illusion or sorts. If we see the pervert insulted by his own parents on a regular basis it might be so bad for us. Plus well have rooms to ourselves too and they seem nice enough for humans, Kala Warner thought to herself, a sentiment shared with Mitelt at this moment and Issei was quickly sent to bring in all the boxes and take them to the respective rooms, Issei himself was shocked to see his house now had a third floor but with the paint and materials you'd barely notice it was never there, if no one had told him. That and had lived there all his life so you'd expect him to notice the difference. X break X, later on after getting Rainier, Asia, Kala Warner and Middelt into their respective year classes Naruto was sat in the clubhouse relaxing with some tea Akino made for him as head sent a clone to cover lessons today, Rainier and Asia had been squeezed into Issei's group. Kala Warner into Rias and Middelt into Akinos, their body types being the closets for each year group. Era, Era what has you looking so tired Naruto sensei? Akano said quickly taking the seat next to him, which would have been sought by Kaneko once she made it to the room. Tough luck, Kaneko, taking a break while my clone does my work, while Rias and Sona-san along with me eased those three into the school. Sona was more annoying with Rainer being a full fallen still, just needed some time to cool off, should NT you be in class right now though? Naruto asked while Akano just kept smiling. I have a free period, I believe Bucha is still leading Kala Warner san around the school, Kaneko chan will be doing the same with Middle san, Issei kun I believe is leading Asia chan and Rainer san around, do you not want me here? She tilted her head giving herself a cute look. You're fine here, just don't blame me when you get thrown away by Kaneko, Akano just giggled as she readjusted herself to place her head in Naruto's lap. Well, may as well use what time I can to enjoy myself. Would you mind giving me Kaneko chan treatment then? Naruto just shook his head as he began rubbing her head, she felt a small moan rumble in her throat as he massaged her scalp. While you're still awake, how has Issei been doing with contracts? Naruto was curious to his student's progress as a devil. MMMMNN nothing so far, he's not made a contract but his reviews have been excellent, from what we can tell he can connect well with people who got flyers, I believe Bucko has plans to use Asia chan to help him make her first contracts and him at the same time. Oh why haven't we done this before? Akano was red faced as she felt the full effect of Naruto's fingers, I need to find a better use for them. Mainly due to how it would be seen, but we're alone now and know a lot more about each other and are comfortable with each other too, but I just usually have my hands taken by Kaneko chan, but Akano, how are you with those three? Akino's slight moaning stopped abruptly but didn't move. Whatever do you mean? I can read fake smiles, yours was good but I can tell you don't like all of them, Naruto said not slowly down with his fingers even when he felt her twitch, you have your reasons like I do for my dislike of fallen angels, but like devils I am dealing with it, but if they insult you tell me and it'll put them in their place. Thank you Naruto sensei, it'll be sure to let you know when it happens, but oddly right now I am wondering how Issei Kun's class is reacting to Asia Chan, Shell have let slip she's living with him now, she giggled imaging the amount of girls and boys wanting to cause him pain since he lived with such a literally too adorable, blonde, foreign girl. Plenty if what I am hearing from my clone is right, Naruto quickly felt Akino's breathing soften meaning she might have just taken a nap in his lap, looking down this was proven true, 
when she isn't tapping into her sadist side you can really notice the beautiful girl she is. Eventually Rias entered the room with Kalawarner and saw Naruto on the couch with Akano lightly snoozing in his lap, her new pawn would like to have pointed out that Rias was pouting but knew not to as she was the sister of the current Lucifer, Naruto sensei, didn't I just see you in your class? I am there but I needed some time to myself and Akano just wanted to take a nap, I got carried away when she wanted some Kaneko-chan treatment, couldn't really say no, Naruto said slowly stopping his fingers despite the slight moan of disappointment from the girl in his lap. Didn't think she'd go that far so fast, then again she's a half br eek, Kalawarner had to duck from a knife that was aimed at her head. While this is a jibe at my age, I am old not deaf so while you are one of my students don't go insulting another of mine under your breath, Naruto said scratching Akino's head cancelling the miniature gate behind his head, as if he couldn't notice the difference with Akino's half heritage, had figured it out early on but his relationship on a friendly teacher basis helped him get past that and see her just as his student. Until things changed of course, they were closer friends now too. He is right though Kalawarner, Akano is my queen, so don't go insulting her in any shape or form. Rias gave the girl a stern glare shed have to punish her later, it'll be busy getting Isekun and Asia Chan their first proper contracts tonight so it'll be late home Naruto sensei. Akano already told me, take care of those two, it'll wake this one up in a bit but Rias, the girl turned curious as another small portal appeared above his hand and out popped a video game case, my guy got me an early release. Now I want to just come home straight away, getting Batride War 2 a few weeks before release, Rias both loved and hated what was in Naruto's hands as she had been playing a few of his games, the newer Kamen Rider ones were very fun, her favorite being Wizard or Double, mainly due to how highly stylish they were with their finishers. Consider it a reward for good behavior and good grades as you haven't been slipping despite your new peerage additions and have made time for all of them. He placed the game back into his gate of many treasures, better than storage scrolls and that was tough to admit when he first got the power. But like several of his abilities they gifted him each had gains but he used them sparingly or like a number of things he did until recently, such a hassle really but things in life rarely stay the same no matter how much you try. She's in my spot, Naruto's, Rias and Kalawarner's head turned to the door where Kaneko had just walked in with Middlet. I doubt she wants to give it up looking so comfy. The pawn commented only to get Kaneko to whack her lightly across the head, the rook's strength had her kiss the floor though. Sorry Kaneko, just wait a while and shell have to leave for class, I think there's some fresh cookies in the kitchen though, Naruto placated the girl who he did knowingly spoil. I want petting after, Kaneko headed for the kitchen to claim her sweets before she retook her spot. If not there would be war between the queen and the rook very soon. X break X after much petting and snacks Kaneko eventually got into Naruto's lap, However Akano was unwilling to give up her position choosing to skip class, to compensate Naruto moved to the middle of the couch so the little Kaneko could rest against his other leg. It had been a bit of a pity when they had to wake up, but Kaneko had given him her deadly pout so was offered a piggyback ride, which she nodded to almost as soon as the offer left his lips. The girl had taken her napping position when they got home, they'd adjourned to his hobby room so Naruto could do a bit of manga reading, Rosario plus Vampire finished at last and he wanted to enjoy it. Is it odd that such a powerful man has such a geeky hobby? Rainer asked sitting in the room serving some tea at a snail's pace as her seals were on and Naruto thought she could get some training doing delicate processes while her arms felt like cement blocks. It's a matter of perspective, when I was young there were magazines but in all that time weren't too many adventures that mangaka come up with today. Some even have deeper meanings to them, but I like being a geeky in my free time, plus with Rias I guess I have someone to share it in, you as well, when your control is good enough to not rip any pages of course. Naruto said turning the page with his single free hand as the other had been placed on the white hair girl in his lap and she was refusing to let it leave. Era, era might you have anything in my tastes than Naruto sensei. Akano while no longer under the skilled hands of Naruto was not letting Kaneko get too far ahead as she joined them in the room sitting in the chair opposite Rainer as she enjoyed the struggling movements of the fallen angel. Hum, not too sure most books with your likes are likely in the red section, yes I am aware of what I did, but this game might be to your liking, he pointed to his wall of games. Bayonetta, well this could be interesting, like many moments in life, Akano found another reason to like her favorite teacher as she was introduced to a woman she could learn a couple things from. So many devices to recreate, for fun. Naruto Uo Sensei let me try that game please, Rias voice echoed into the room as she entered looking tired of the ordeal that was Issei and Asia's first contract, the weird couple in Japanese and foreign armor were exhausting enough, but getting Issei to bring them together by suggesting he might get to touch her breasts. By a twist of fate had tripped and ended up groping Kalawarner who had not hit him, well not too badly, just a small bruise, Asia had healed it in no time and had apologized but his following words were. Sorry, 
I'll make sure next time I grope you I'll be allowed to grope your wonderful opie. Both Rias and Calawarner were surprised just how perverted he was but she could at least say he had his morals in wanting to earn the right. Sure. Hang on I'll bring up the second TV, hitting a switch from his universal remote a second flat screen popped out from the wall. Good now it's showtime, Rias grinned getting her hands on the game and switching it on. Before long she was relaxing next to Naruto as she enjoyed her game, it didn't take long before she rested against his side, her head receiving her own treatment once had finished his tea. For Rias she knew these moments of peace may not last much longer and was determined to make them last while she could, but part of her wondered how much Naruto could help if she only asked, then again had helped her out so much already, Shed noticed Naruto making room under the stairs for another guest most likely her other peerage member, thanks for watching.